Hey, Dave. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the LVO 2018. Round six. Round six. Round six. It oh, all comes man. to this point to set the stage for the big day tomorrow. For the big day tomorrow. And let me tell you what, we have a match for you. Ladies and gentlemen, two 5-0 and players I don't know. battling out for that spot on Sunday. I haven't met either of these gentlemen until just now. Let me tell you, I think they're both going to win. They look so confident. They do, huh? They're, I got no problem. My army's looking great. They're both 5 0, so why wouldn't they think they're both going to win? I wouldn't. Hey, so let's talk about our play. Oh, you know what? Let's do our scenario first. Let's talk about our scenario. Scenario number six. I know we got four objective marks, and that's it. Is uh, precious cargo. So precious cargo, the difference is, is you get four objectives that are placed basically in the four corners of the map. If you can see that real quick, you can see where they go. You know what's in that precious cargo, Dave? A ticket to Sunday. <laughs> oh, Dave, that was ticket brilliant. To Sunday. That was top quality right I there. I just made that up. Yeah, I know, that's good. So each player gets to choose one of those objectives in their deployment zone to be their quote unquote precious cargo. They also are allowed to move them up to six inches from their original location as long as they stay uh, six inches from the table edge and at least 12 inches from another objective. If the player holds their opponent's primary objective at the end of a player turn, that's when they get the bonus point. Bonus. And it could come down to those kind of points with players like this. Sure it could. So you know, you might want to look out for like a strong left, strong right, trying to move what and take one side of the table where that other person's primary objective is. You might see something like that. It's going to be exciting, Dave. Our players are. Our players are coming in in the uh, black shirt, looking Hardcore number 34 <laughs> out, of, out of Pahonix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. Mark Wright. Mark is bringing uh, Blood Angels. Man, Codex just came down, and here he is, 5-0 and oh, at the LVO with Blood Angels and in your face army. Oh, it's looking good. I asked him, so what's the plan? He said, I'm going to punch him in the face, and if he, he survives that, I'm probably going to lose. So <laughs> I like that strategy. <laughs> That's a good strategy. And he's going up against Jared Friedman. Jared Friedman, uh, part of the... Uh, East Coast, Coast out right? of Boston. Out of Boston. So he's flown all the way here from the East Coast of America. And he's playing a mix uh cast space marines with a little bit of demon action going on in there. But it's basically a Alpha Legion detachment, a Chaos Soup detachment, and a World Easer detachment. So we're gonna see some sneaky stuff. We're gonna see some berserkers rushing across the table on rhinos. That's like chunky soup. Chunky Soup. Armon is on the field, not with a disc, mind you, but he's out there. And why doesn't he have a disc? This is things I don't even think about. Things I can't think about. <laughs> so Armon can uh, give a plus one to infantry, infantry. plus one to their saves uh, within a certain range. And if he's on a disc, he doesn't get it. So he's sacrificing the range of movement for. Uh, Rerollable. He wants them to live. It's super important. Now you'll see a Bellacore. Super important. That was super, funny. You like that? Yeah, I did. You'll see a Bellacore model out there. However, that is not Bellacore himself. He is a uh, Slanesh uh, Demon Prince. He's removed Bellacore's traditional sword. He already got approved with the judges, so he's good to go on that. And uh, I just thought I want to say he's also got the Chaos Fire Raptor. Now, if you remember, guys, last round we had a bit of a controversy. Do you remember that one, Dave? Yes, with the Mark. That's right. The he had Mark, the, not Mark Wright, the player, but the, the demon Mark that you could apply to a fire raptor. Yeah. So they, you know, they get both the Legion keyword and a, a Chaos Mark that you can put on. And he's put a Mark of Slanesh on his fire raptor. What's that give you? Well, it uh, it doesn't really give you anything up front, but allows certain spells to affect certain things that have to do with Slanesh. So, so if he the has Slanesh a, buffs. He's, he's going to be using Slanesh buffs on that Fire Raptor, if anything. If he wants to, that is correct. That's just like on last time, he had Nurgle on the Fire Raptor, which allowed him to cast the Nurgle Psychic Power, uh, which makes it a minus one to hit, plus a minus one for a Flyer. So you're trying to shoot down that Flyer, and you had a minus two to hit it. Ridiculous. He said he was playing Orc player, right? Couldn't even shoot at it. Right, exactly. Minus two, you hit on a... Orcs need or five up. Yeah. You need a seven. Sorry. Couldn't even hit him. So and Orcs could flip it off, but that's about it. It's like, hey. <laughs> so uh, Mark Ryan, our Blood Angel, Blood Angel players, have bringing ten command points to the game. Jared Freeman's bringing twelve command points to the game. 
I think we're in for a fantastic round. Well, look how excited we are. I'm excited. We're having to work this. just to talk. So the players are still going through the pregame, so we don't know their secondary missions yet. As soon as we know those, we'll get you guys uh, up to speed on that, and we'll make sure Mariana puts it down in the type as well. Dave, anything else before we go to the start of round Just number six? Strap, strap yourself to your seats. It's going to be exciting. And we're out, Dave. The overhead calm people. And we are getting ready to close this up. See you guys soon. We're good, Mark? All right. Nice. Exciting. This is going to be fun. Exciting. And Intercessors, which are Primaris Marines. Another intercessor for another Primaris Marine. Oh, you're, you're getting interested in my. Primaris Marines, aren't you? Well, I'm not going to do it if you will, but. but I'm, I should know. Yeah. Not white Sword Sword is engaged, and he's going to get Weaver of Fates, which is the plus one invo save, or if you, if you don't have one, you get a five attempt save. So then, and that goes on these models. So Scorpius. The cultists. Basically, it's cultists that survive getting shot at. So five up invos, but it's just a fun one. Yep. Okay. Um, his other power is going to be Diabolic Strength, okay. which is a character buff spell. So it's probably going to go on Blender. Plus one strength, plus one plus attack. Plus two strength, okay. plus one attack. Okay. Cool. Um, Relics, we said Elixir. I said Champ is going to have Murder, 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 Murder there. I watch a lot of Death Clock. He's going to have the Murder Sword. Other than that, everything I, I got is WYSIWYG. Yeah. Tommy Bolters across the board, Tommy Flitter yeah. across the board, Magical Brain Bullets from Bozo. Yep. Uh, we went over the Forge Will stuff. Yep. Um, so uh, he's got Storm Bolter, Storm Bolter, sure. Storm Bolter, Storm Bolter. Bolter, Bolter. So, so all the pretty, much, Storm pretty much this is a good matchup. Alpha Legion versus Blood Angels. I'm down. It's going to be, do I get first turn and can I hit hard enough? <sighs> I'm going to be honest. If I can survive your double combo wombo alpha comedy, mm -hmm. it's not going to be good. Oh yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, oh no, I'm just again, I'm not. I could, I could. I mean, I'm just saying it's in theory for, on paper matchup. If I can survive, yeah. it's gonna hurt. Um, um, secondaries. Secondaries. All right. So I'll, I have six for Reaper. <laughs> Eight. I have four for Big Gang Hunter. Mm -hmm. I have six for Head Hunter. Uh, Gangbusters would give you at max two for the real blitz. Mm -hmm. Kingslayer would give you at max two for that guy because he's a monster, so it's one for every four, and I have nine. Yeah. Other than that. I can't tell you how to play that one. I can just tell you what the match could possibly be. Um, so, obviously Reaper. Those are easy. I, I give it up. I can't Head, stop that. Headhunter and okay. Old School. All right, so let me write that down. Me. Good team, me. Him. All right, so you said Reaper. Yep. Headhunter. Yep, and Old School. Old School. All right. Let me check your list real quick. So you're gonna want headhunter seven seven on yeah head probably <laughs> uh, reaper for two one reaper for one everything else is nothing so reaper with max two yeah reaper with max out of two so I'm gonna go old school I'm gonna go a thousand cuts and I'm gonna go headhunter and Mark what did you take for your secondary uh, I took headhunter old school and reaper. I mean, I have guys with six-up armor and be stupid not to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, you don't have to. They die super fast. They, they, they <laughs> die super. They are literally there to go. Oh, you're a, you're a blood angels with eight attacks and a thunder hammer. How's it feel to squash a cultist, buddy? Feels pretty bad, doesn't it? Yeah, it's hilarious when they put a forty bomb in front of me and they don't think I can kill it. Oh no. Oh, I'm well aware of what <laughs> I. Oh yeah, I'm well aware of what that thing does. All right. So it's twelve and eighteen. Yep. So I got my side already. So yeah, yeah. We're, we're I'm going on the wild assumption thing. that it's going to be the one. You know, The beast goes? No, the iron joke. Oh, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> That's good. Is that good? Yep. Uh, 18 and 12. All right, so I'm going to go to the middle of the, of the thing. Yeah, cool. You don't have to like it. <laughs> sure. For note, if you want color commentary, I am the team captain of the Tiki Gods. We have won a Depticon team spirit three years in a row. We uh, the Depticon history. We're the guys you want to win against, we're the guys you want to lose against. Our motto is we get you drunk and late. <laughs> oh, that's a good, uh, that's a good plan. Mentioned. You're going to be fun in the post-game interview. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what, we're going to hold <laughs> on that act. That's going to be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll there, there's your color. Internet, we're on the internet. We're, we, we dress up. We want, we're called the hobby, right? 
I'm the guy you want to lose. I played Eldar in second edition. I didn't win a game for a year and a half. I'm also in internet support as a network engineer manager. I get yelled at eight hours a day. It is my fault. So I have a really thick skin. All right, brother. So we got the relics down. We got the warlord traits down. We got our powers down. Secondaries. All the secondaries down. The comedy option here down. So let's roll up to see who wants to pick it up. Sure. I got a five. All right, I'm gonna sub. You know what? Uh, TSA thinks so too. Because all the moving parts, they keep. Oh yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna invoke the power of Kurt Klaus. He has failed me. Uh, what do you got? Uh, five, which I believe is a Don Worst Gearhead thing. I don't know. Book probably. Let's tell us maybe. At five. Please be a hammer and anvil. Please be a hammer. Come on, Kirk Fuzz, don't fail me again. You're going to fail me. It's nuts. There we go. Five. Uh, cash is not what I wanted, but it's fine. Uh, it's the Dawn of War that's really close. Uh, it is Frontline Assault. Oh, I'm yeah. going to get just the tip and the blunt end and the other end and all the ends. You heard it in your window, it's going to be an in her endo. All right. Um, all right. Anyway. All right, so that's all this garbage. Let's... What's the wording on the Death Company? When does it happen? It happens after deployment, before the first game round starts. So it happens during the infiltrating phase. Okay, so we'd roll off for that. Yeah, if you have infiltrated. Yeah. Uh, probably. Who's that? I. It's, as if. <laughs> Alright, so it's uh, six up and then nine from the center. Yep. So it's 15. It's 15 oh. from the center, yeah. Yeah. And then there. Alright, so do me a favor. Um, give me 99, so 18 back, I think, is the push? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so oh. you want to help me with 18? Your mark, your point in. Mm -hmm. Eighteen, right? Okay, cool. Awesome, thank you. Yep. Let me. All right. So presumably I will deploy first, since we chose the side. Um, yep. what, what side would you like? And before we do that, um, let's go over terrain. Ruins, ruins. Okay. Ruins. Obviously. Are we saying we can go in here, or just around? Let's just go around it because we really can't. That if works. we can pike the top off, I'd say sure. Yeah. But for we're going to be fighting so hard. Of course, me. I got jump packs. So, so pretty can... much, yeah, I got jump packs, you got jump packs. So, impassable except for fly. Mm -hmm. um, I guess we could do six up. Okay. If yes. you want. Or three up. I'd probably do three up for levels. Yeah, three, three up. up we're just six, called levels. Six so up we have there. three up to six up. Yep. But you can't go through it, but a block there. Cool. Yeah. Um, whatever the hell these things are. And, and then. Just line of sight blocking. What do you want to do about these? Because we can kind of put models inside. You want to call a room? Yeah, so, we, we can call rooms if you. We, can, we can't really fit anybody in the bottom level. Yeah, if you're inside it, like up here in the yeah, levels. Yeah, if you're, if you're on the, up in the levels, you get covered. Yeah, and behind it, obviously, line of sight. Perfect. And then for these ones, because they're open here, line of sight blocking on bottom level. Correct. So I can see. Yep, hmm. but if we get behind somehow, magically, I'll shoot you in the, in the rear. Yeah. Okay. Uh, same deal here. Uh, I can scrub models in here, so, line, so the door doesn't exist. Yep. We're good. Awesome. All right. So let me oh, die out. Give me 18 again. And I'm assuming you want that side. Oh uh, yeah, just make, make it easy. It yeah, that's fine. Like I said, I just want to go. With, I want to make sure the terrain was equal for both of us. Yeah, I want to fight on your side anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, thanks. Yeah, thanks for your vote of confidence, there, buddy. Make sure that vote of confidence, there, pal. I got faith in you. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I beat two guys. Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Dave. And Dave. So we're going to let you guys watch the action while we do a little cutting because we've got their secondaries. Yeah, they're setting up and deploying, but uh, we'll go over the secondaries with you. Get ready for the action to start. So first of all, the deployment map is going to be front line assault. Front line assault is basically a uh, short board, right? So you don't have to go quite as short. The shortest far. of the short. The shortest of the short with a spear tip formation. So it's like... 15 inches up from the one side of the board edge and six inches on the side. So you'll see kind of an arrowhead uh, formation as they're deploying out and setting up their dice. Well, it's a long there. board, so I mean, they could choose to set back, but I, with these two guys, I don't know how much of that's going to happen. I'm, uh, the blood gods have, or 40K gods have set us up for a potential to 
just punch each other right in the face. And I think that's what both of them want to do. Yeah, man. When you get berserkers going head to head with blood angels, you're going to see the blood fly all over the place. This is going to be awesome, Dave. I'm so excited to watch this game. So let's talk about their secondary. So Mark chose for his secondaries head under, which means he's going after characters. Old school, which once again a breakdown means first strike, you got to kill you in the first round. You need Warlord. You need line breaker, and you need uh, basically last strike. You need to kill a unit in the final round of the game. And he also chose Reaper, where you need one point for a unit of 10, two points for a unit of 20 or more. All right. And then Jared, Jared chose old school as well. It's a popular one. Uh, he also chose headhunter, and then he chose death by a thousand cuts. I love it when people choose that because that means I'm, I, what's it saying? I'm going to beat your face in. I'm going to yeah. chop you to pieces one way or the other, right? You just mentioned it. There's a, a lot of these players been taking old school. It, it's clearly a winner. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, there's something about it where it used to be that was your whole kind of mission effort. A lot of guys have been playing for a long time, which these two guys have. They, they know all those old school objectives already. The only thing they have to worry about adding in mentally is killing that unit in the last round, which is important to keep time pace so you know when that last round's coming up so you make sure you get that kill in. I just thought of something about the old school myself. I'm sure the guys that are picking it already understand it. But all of those things you can get in a short game, in a two or three round game. Sure. So Yeah, well, I tell you what, we're in for a great one. These guys seem like they have fantastic attitudes. I'm 5-0. I am 5 I just want to point that out. I'm going to stand back a little bit. I don't want to get hurt. Winner might jump into the Sunday. In fact, most likely they will. If, if someone goes 6-0, you'd have to have like almost no points at all in all of your wins. And to fail on a Sunday, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I think we're going to see one. We will see one of these gentlemen tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get you back to the game. All right, so Blitz, Scouts, Horrors, first guy in first orbital guy. Mm -hmm. so, right, so that would leave you six remaining. Correct. Right. Yep. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Oh. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Oh, we got seven left to drop. Oh, seven? Okay, so good. All right, so yellow brims, and then giant space. Yeah. All right. Uh, the bonus is to hold your objective and my. Yeah, okay. To cool. hold both primaries, yeah. Fair deal. All right, green brims. So I'm going to spend three command points to infiltrate three units okay. of the cultists. So uh, down to 10, down to 9, down to 8. Okay. I said 8. That's it. So that's three drops. Okay. So how many more so before you start putting down? Two. You got three there, right? You it's three. It's three. three one, two, three, and then three, three in more. three in reserve, and three the blitz in space. So I'm at seven There's right seven. now. So you and should I'm be at, at seven. I'm at eight total. You're at eight, so I go to eight. Okay. So you have two more because you deployed first, right? I deployed first, yes. So you're at six. I'm at eight. So you got two more. Okay. So man, I'm a death company. I'm a death company. All right. <laughs> There's, there. there's no six spots. I know. I'm just <laughs> trying to figure out. It was funny watching the guy trying to map it out last round. Yeah. He's trying to figure out where they where they can go. I'm like, anywhere. Anywhere <laughs> they want. All right, party bus. I like party buses. Uh, with two zerkers inside, two units. Oh, two, two five mans? Two five mans. So we said here. What you think? Ha. Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh. charge, split around, blow me up. Sounds terrible. Um, okay. 
down. You said one more? Yep. And we said we can go in here, correct? These bottom yeah. floor? Yeah. Okay. All right. So other party bus right there. Okay. And your cultists are all just 10 man, right? What's that? The cultists are all just 10 men? Yes. Sounds good. You mean this one right here? Yeah, that's right. Perfect. We play with a death clock at my local store. So at half an hour left, you split 15-15. You don't got to use all the time. So if I use 7 and you use 15, I have 7 minutes and you can't respond. It's a chess clock. Yeah. Hey, man, tax club. Okay. Uh, heavy boulder? One heavy boulder, yeah. Storm bolts around the side. I heard you like Hellfire. I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually ever use it. Really? I should. But I usually take a, like a one missile guy and one heavy bolter just to have the option. I have the option for it, but I always forget about it. And yeah. my command points are precious as it is. Correct. Well, if you want to come play with the guy with the shotgun, you're more than welcome to. I will do that. I'm going to put him, eh, you know, hanging out in the back because whatever. I'll probably shoot a bolter at him sometime. Sure. Uh, actually, I'm going to put him... I'm going to put him right there. And you've got cultist. Make sure. That the intercessor squad there. Okay. And they're all five minutes, right? Yeah, for the intercessor. Okay. Right, I'm on, on the back line. And that's the other tax squad? Uh, this is uh, another intercessor squad. Okay. Yeah, only and then it's all bolt rifles, right? They don't have the, they can't get. Yeah, they're the 30 cool. inch, and then they have yeah. a grenade launcher. Yeah, I don't know. They're there to be two one guys in an objective. Pretty much. All right, that's what I want to hear. <laughs> Scorpius is like, yes, easy. Yeah, yes, come, come to me. Come. I totally would like to totally shoot you in the face. So 48, which is pretty much there. And then I kill the table. Uh, 48. Here's to there. See what happens. Nah, right there. Where, where are we? Right. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's gonna be table. So unless you're on your back line, it's gonna be table. So, all right. Not worry about it. I know. I just, it's for me because I'm really bad at math. <laughs> like really bad. Like none of my college degrees are in math. Because why? Yeah, I think my college degree is in alcohol drinking. I got that when I was 13. Yeah. Overachiever. Uh, there's a story that, that I can't talk about online, so we'll, we'll leave that for later. <laughs> um, Blender Fairy. In the back. Bubble in my hand. Okay. 
Thanks, bro. Um, So right now, before I drop this guy, I, by measuring out an intent, my deployment zone is not deep tracking. Oh, that's nice. I know, I just, I like to, would you stop making me try to play and be nice? <laughs> Jerk. You're good. <laughs> Jerk. Uh, source word. Everyone all the way down range. that's what I want to do. I know. If you could blow my mind and not charge with death company, I'd be really happy about that. Uh, fair? Fair. Uh, source word on the range. Alright, there we go. That's who I care about. That's the juice. That's, that's a sweet nougat center of a Death Company army there, gentlemen. Because of the stratagem. Yeah, one more drop. Yeah, I'll, I'll, this is my last one, so I'll be done. Uh, the Sanguinary would give it a charge 3d6 with their stratagem. Uh, pff, nobody cares. All right. Uh, <laughs> eh, pff, nobody cares. And pff, nobody cares. So really, yeah, I got to go first. All right. Good talk, coach. And... Everyone's favorite forge old model, they made it cheaper for no apparent reason, the Fire Raptor. Alright, well, if it blows up, it's going to kill everybody and it'll be a fast game. So, there we go. Last one. Okay. Yep. Until somebody gives us lanyards that reach 24 inches across the table. I, I do like a lot of the uh, fat mats where they have the uh, the pre marks with like the sewer lid or the chevrons. All right, uh, I get a plus one. Martin, man. What's up, brother? Have fun. I'm gonna invoke my good friend Doug at Table War. You oh. son of a bitch. All right, I will. Be remiss if I didn't try to seize. It's up to you. Woo. All right, brother. There we go. Let's do it. Okay. And down burn. All right, we know he's there. I'm just going to pull him off. Yeah, you're good. All right, cool. Wobbly model. I guess. Okay, wobbly, wobbly model already broken 17 times. All right, so now we got to roll off for my infiltrates versus your death company. Correct. So. Let's try a third die for that. Cool. Hey, all right, so by the FAQ, I drop everybody. That's fine. No, no, it just doesn't affect my movement. No, it doesn't, but a lot of people were like, oh, we alternate. No, it just, it just happens. Right. More juicy stuff. <laughs> all right. Now, it's just a regular movement, so you cannot get within one inch of me on, your, on your free movement. Correct. Right, cool. I do get my advance as well. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Give me nine inches there. Did I look at you? But, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. All right. So give me. Uh, Seven there. Right. Up there. Got to send one part, one key part of the game. Got to see what all goes down. Yep. You win or lose in this phase of the game, most unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Spanky. Thank you. 
assuming you're going to use the stratagem for your death dividend, mm -hmm. can you tell the streamers about what stratagem, what it does for them? Yeah, it's called Forlorn Fury. And so before the first battle round begins, death, any death company unit that's on the board is allowed to make a normal movement plus an advanced movement before the game starts. Nice. So it allows death company to get up to a free 18 inches to get across the board to get where they need to go turn one. And uh, command points, how many does it cost? Two command points. For a unit? You can only do it for one unit. Ah, that's a key one on that yep. one. Only do it for one unit. That's why there's only one death company guy on the board when I got three total on the, on the list. In the, in the list. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Facing you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the unit differentiation, guys facing you are one unit, cool. guys facing me are a second unit, guys facing that way, the third unit. Cool. Cool. Other than that, uh, you know, here it comes. Okay. I'm not you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I, I have to plan for it. That's the thing. Yeah. You got to plan if for I it. If I had won the roll, I would have done Yes. Because right. then if you can't get there, then yeah, I this, this get is this over. was By not having nerglings, I have to win the roll. The option for my list was taking Nerdlings, but then I lose a lot of extra guns, like Kami Bolters everywhere. And against Assassins, the flame, the Kami Flamers are really good. So. Okay. Now let's start regular movement phase. Okay. I'm gonna come around here. Guys, we're gonna move our first six. Mm -hmm. Check the facey space. Nine inches. Nine inches. Yeah. So 21 puts you here, max. So make sure just in case. 21, just outside of reach. And what are they have? Five up here on the pain? Six up. Okay. Still one, still one wood each, right? Yeah. Okay. Sanguinary Guard are two up armor, two ones each? Yep. And they're three up armor, three ones each? Yep. And, and you didn't, and no one, and does anyone have the Black Rage? All the Death and Pain. Okay, but you didn't spend the command, you didn't spend the strategy to give the Captain Black Rage. Those are the two that I Oh, right, Extra Relic and Black Rage. Got it. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. I am. Cool. 
they're there to stop us from this. <laughs> terrible. They're absolutely terrible. I'll make sure I mean, they're funny. They're funny. They they dragged down Marnius Calgar at a tournament once. Nice. Yeah. I just want to make sure they didn't have to move up to get there. No, 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 no. It's, it's... Okay, so... Start to shoot him. Okay. So we're going to shoot these 30 shots first. Actually, do I want to bring anyone in? No, not yet. Okay. Sure. So start the shooting phase. So we have 30 shots here. To, uh, bolters, double tap. Yep. Yep. Who are you going at? I'm going to guess Cultus. Yeah. Okay. The front one, since they're in double tap range. Sure. Threes. Yep. Six. And six or twelve. All right. I'm just going to go three dice, and unless I get three sixes, they're all dead. I'm not going to worry about making us roll a thousand dice for Sounds cultists. Good. Sound good? All right. Hey, look, they're all dead. Cool. All right. Simple and easy. Uh, the one facing your front? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So, that's going to be an old school and a Reaper. Yep. And a killed unit. Yep. Cool. All right. So, this back squad here is going to shoot here. The one's facing away from me. The one's facing me? Okay. Yep. So, we're going to do four regular shots and then one frag launcher. Sure. Four regular shots, all hit. Sure. Um, well, I'm minus one because Alpha beat you. But they're all five and six. Well, fine, be that way. It's all good. Uh, three. No, three. Minus one. <laughs> <laughs> good talk, Coach. Uh, so we'll take that so guy. Frag launcher. I'm gonna take shots. that guy. Five. Take that guy. Okay. We'll hit on fours. Okay. okay. Uh, one miss. And these will wound on threes. Three. Minuses? Yep. Okay. So you see. Coming. So you're saying there's a chance. There is a chance. All right. Uh, really you normal. were saying there was a chance. We were just having to talk about it, and yeah. it wasn't really going to happen. It was a little standard chat. You know? A little standard chat. We're having that nice talk, Coach. Uh, so we're going to go with these guys next. So they're rapid firing, and that's why. Absolutely. All day, every day. We have Storm Bolter, and we have four regular Bolters. Okay. The non threes, because I'm with three twelve. Yep. Absolutely. And the wooden non threes, because you're Bolter. This is true. So four. Okay. Once again, I'm all about that chance. And we were talking about a chance. We really just in the thought about a chance. I had a chance. Had a chance. So one, two, three, four. Okay. And these guys are gonna sneak in here and shoot them too. You so sneaky. All within range. Sure. So we have four regular shots and a frag launcher. Okay. He's going to be at minus one. Correct. Makes a little bit of difference. It does. And then one dead. Yes. And then five. Three shots. Two hits. Okay. And then three. One. Oh, right, I got it. Hey. Oh, hey. Boo. All right. Uh, dead. We got these guys here. So we got 24 inches. Mm -hmm. Touch them. Touch them. So we got one, two, three, four, five bolters shooting there. Okay. Heavy bolter. We'll shoot at the. Uh, shoot at the plane. Okay. Why not? Yeah, it's a thing. We got five. Five regular shots and minus one. Correct. So two hits. Okay. And then threes. Uh, nothing. Okay. And three at the... Yep. So fours again. So two. And fives. Uh, nothing. Okay. And then we got this squad here. They're going to finish off the squad. Okay. So they're in rapid fire. So I'll get eight shots regular. Uh, we'll see 10 shots total. Okay. No frag this time. Sure. Okay. 
No minus one because we're within 12. Correct. I'll dig in. And that should finish it. We'll fail. Four. Uh, minus one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, good talk, coach. All right. <laughs> so that's a second reaper and two units for the turn. Yep. So we got these ones over here. So you're going to shoot four shots at the yellow brimstones and then a frag launcher as well. Okay. So uh, these guys are not minus one, right? No, 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 no. They're literally just 30 points of kill me. Uh, three? Yep. Minus one. So so six up in balls. Yep. In there. There's one. Hey, There's two. two. So, uh, yeah. yeah, you're useless. And frag. Four shots. Okay. He's not very enthusiastic about this. Okay. Yeah. okay. And then uh, chargers. So scouts going to charge that total okay. squad. Sure. Uh, so a bunch of auto guns because reasons. So two, four, six, eight. Sure. They'll probably hit better on this than they do normally shooting. Makes sense. Nope. Yep. <laughs> they hit better on this than normal shooting. Nope. They um, are just like <laughs> bullets. What are those? And six. Should do it. Definitely. We got six. Come around to this side here. There we go. Here is the choir. Uh, no other charges there. So we got scouts. Sure. Four regular. Come at me. Sergeant's got two plus a chain sword. So oh, I'm sure he does. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. So hitting on threes, All right. wounding on twos because we're blood angels. Oh, uh, yeah, two plus two one to wound because you're charged and you're blessing stuff. And uh, so four wounds. <sighs> just enough to kill him. Consistently, this could be okay and totally not okay. They're just like, what up? All right. Super dead. So that'll be a third Reaper. Yep. And like I said, it, it, I give it up. I can't stop that. Yeah. All right. Completely understandable. We're going to pile into cover. Ooh. We like that. It's for scouts. I know what you're doing. You want me to attack with berserkers and then drop in the sanguinary guys. I'm on to you, sir. Yeah, if you want to leave them in the rhinos, I'm okay with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, Rhino funeral. will charge you because it'd be hilarious. It's your funeral. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, that's it for my first turn. Okay. Um, so, I cannot fail the morale check on the brim since you only killed one because they'll lead seven. Yep. So you've killed uh, three. Yep. So we got one old school, three Reaper. Correct. And you control and one control and hold one. Two. Well, for your turn. Yeah. yeah. If I blow you off one of them, then it happens. All right. Uh, anything else we got to worry about? Nope. My, right, turn's, my turn's good. <sighs> Let me know what you got. All right. Show them what you're working with. So this is not going to move because why? I don't care about you shooting a fire wrapper with bolters. Your guys are going to punch it, have jump packs anyway, so staying in the air means nothing. So the fire wrapper is going to go to hover and go somewhere else. Um, all right, so pretty much table. I'm going to go right there.
advance the rims, the red ones. So they're going to go anywhere they want. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's, that's the weird thing about the codex is Zinch got fast and Nur, uh, uh, Nurgle got fast and Zinch got resilient. Which, the plan says 92, blows my mind. And we're just going to hang out right there. Illabrims going to advance. Green brim's going to advance. So it looks like a gap right about here. All right. Uh, psychic fairs, the points are made up. My army doesn't matter. Um, let's do the important stuff first. Prince is going to cast Feel No Pain on the Fire Raptor. I will go off on the eight. Armand is going to try to precious the Fire Raptor. Goes off on the 10. This guy here is going to give Armand the better inball save. Does not go off, and I uh, don't care to reroll. On the off chance, crazy things happen. His second power will be Diabolic Strength on the Prince. You know, we were thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will spend one to re-roll the one. Okay. So we are now set to puree instead of blender. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, Smite's out of range, so I think my brain phase is done. Let's go to the shooting phase where comedy happens. Let's do the Scorpius first because that's the easy target. We've already pre-measured, so 48 inches goes to the guys in the back over there. Combi Bolter probably doesn't have range to anybody else. And I'm really glad that I paid the points for it. So 3D3. Beautiful. Yeah, well, can't up that. Four shots. Hit down threes. You're rolling ones because of uh, Bozo. 
Okay, six. So one at minus two. Okay. Right. Two, two damage each. Okay. Scorpion's got to fire again, so we're going to use the same target. Okay. So three, four, five, six, seven. There's a stratagem for that, right? No, uh, it fires it naturally fires twice. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I can show you if you really if you want to see it. You're good. Yeah, if it doesn't sorry, if it doesn't move, it fires twice. The trick is I have to I can choose different targets, but I have to fire immediately after I fire the first volley. Yeah. People sometimes would like shoot one thing, come back to it, and no, it's gotta be done all at once. Sounds good. So seven shots. Twos will um come back to that in a second actually. We roll the ones. I'm going to save the reroll. So five hits. Okay. All right, five wounds at a collective minus one. So three more die. Okay. I feel really stupid doing this. Four last cannons at that guy. <laughs> Everything else the death company. So Lazes hitting on twos, Chris Prescience. Mm -hmm. You're rolling ones because of the demon prints. He ignores the penalty for heavy, right? Yes, I have the evil, evil machine spirit. Uh, twos. So uh, collect four and a collective minus two. Minus two. Oh, minus, yeah, minus two right. And I can't not do two damage with last cannons. So. All right, so that's a first strike. So for old school, I have to kill something, and I kill one. I'll just say right now I can control at least one. Uh, all right, and that's one unit for that. Finishing up the other shots of the death company. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten shots with a... Avenger, Mega, whatever you want to call it, Bolt Cannon. All hit, because twos. Uh, T4, so threes. So, uh, eight at a minus two. And it's two damage each for your field no pains. Yeah. So I'll roll these if Yeah, any sixes you get three roll. So six then? Okay. Alright. The first round of twelve heavy bolters. That's thirty six inches, right? Thirty six, yeah. yeah every, the last count's of forty eight, everything else is thirty six. Cool. I was just outside of thirty six for that guy, which is why I felt really sad about using the last cannon. <laughs> Ones. Well, that's how it works. Vegas odds, baby. So I have 10 hits from the first round. Threes again, because. So one, two, four, six, eight at minus one. Okay. One damage each? One damage each. So there's five left. Uh, six. Oh, that's just a. That's not a. It's six. No, I didn't know if that was like the Marty or somebody cool. Like, all right. So six left. Second round, we roll on the ones. So eleven hits. This is the threes. Yeah. That's. No, nope, can't help that. Uh, three. All right. So three at minus one. Okay. 
combi bolter, short range there. I've got two, so it's eight shots. Uh, eight hits. So, uh, three. Three hits. Yep. Okay. Right here, same thing. Four, eight, no rerolls because different legion. Uh, three. Okay. All right. Well, now on to the comedy portion of my show, obliterators. Yep. So I'm declaring them to shoot. Don't need a target yet. Yep, yep. Strength. Nine. Wounded on twos. Yep, one on twos. Armor punch. One on matters. That's three. a three. And damage. Two. two. Wounding on twos, AP minus three. And two, damage two damage each. Definitely. Yeah, I kill him. Twos. Two, four, <laughs> six, eight at minus three. Six ups. Any sixes, I'll roll again. Yep. Just three damage each. Five four. That should do it. Okay. Two. I'm going to spend two points and activate the obliterators again with the uh, Slanesh stratagem. But I have to reroll other stats all over again because it's another selection. So, strength. Moving on to eight. Punch. Three. Damage. Three. Going to go in after the intercessors that are not in cover. And they're still T4 because they're just. Yeah. I like that. Better. Fair. Wounding on twos. All yeah, right, so good. three. She's not as good. So seven at a minus three, and you got four out of cover. Okay. So that's three kills, so that is Reaper. Yep. Uh, sorry, a uh, thousand cuts. Yep. Any fire on kills for the ground? Uh, we do. Your brimstone can kill All right, so end of my turn. I control one, I score one. We're going to bounce on number of kills. I, however, now control more. Yep. So I get plus one for that. Uh, I don't, neither of us got the bonus. You got one so, on old school? One on old school, one on thousand cuts. No headhunter yet. So I've got three for my primary, two for your primary. I have four for your secondary, two for your secondary. All right, brother. Round two. Fight. Fight. Just for the hilarity of it. Yep. Are you going to shoot and charge my obliterators? I love you. Yeah, go ahead. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you kind of have, because that's, that's going to stop some of the deep strike. Oh, I get it. Well, uh, not uh, mining yeah. the deep strike on me much, so much, it's just wanting there, them the, to have to fall out of combat. Yes, that is also a thing. Yeah, if, it wasn't, if it wasn't for them, like if they had something that made them fall out and shoot. Oh, you mean like the Nurgle trees? Yep. You know, those things that are ridiculous and, and stupid. <laughs> so Dave, this is Dave, and this is Dave. <laughs> All right, so we're looking at two 5-0 and opponents. Talk about some shooting going downrange, right? Blood Angels came, they started out first. 
boom, they got three Reapers right off the bat by taking out all those cultists out in the front. They did a little bit of damage here, a little bit of damage there, but then, man, the comeback. Holy cow, is that Fire Raptor powerful or what? Well, <clears throat> I was sitting there watching the game. I had to do myself some research on my phone. I'm like, how do you kill this Fire Raptor? Because I haven't seen people dropping it. You just leave it alone, right? But I don't know. Like, it's got so many shots. So I think what we're going to try to see, uh, just between me and I'll turn away from the players, is he's got a lot of jump infantry. Yeah. If they can get up there, if they can tie it up, if they can do something, maybe they can put some wounds on it, maybe they can kill it. But, man, those obliterators came in. They did work. He did the Fire Raptor. He activated the Slanesh. Uh, Stratagem cacophony, which allows them to shoot all that massive shooting all over again. Oh my god. Wow, it was just ridiculous. Tons of shooting. Berserkers are out of the rhinos. I don't know what his plan is. He's probably trying to stay back a little bit, let that death company come in a little closer so then he can counter strike with the berserkers when he gets the chance. But right now, he's going to let that fire raptor uh, do its work until he, he comes in for him. I'm still stuck on that fire raptor. 16 wounds. He's got a three up save, right? Anything else going for it? You already got minus one to hit it, right? Right, as a flyer, unless you have something that helps you get past that. Mm -hmm. Although he's in a uh, hover mode right now, so technically you don't have the minus one. Oh, very good. <laughs> very good. All right. Hey, let's get you guys back to the game. Woo wee! It's a blood fest, just like we predicted. Let's see how it goes. Not that you're doing it, but do they, uh, do Blood Ends get a chance? Do they get any combat squad? Yes. Okay. That's uh, one of my stratagems for another list that I was building. Okay. Uh, where I juke people out of doing reaping. reaping. Yes. So I go, oh, I have a bunch of 10 man intercessor squads. Yeah. Go, oh, I'll take oh, yeah. I'm like, okay, well, they're combat squad. Oh, you mean like the Imperial Guard infantry taking a mortar guy? And, oh, surprise, it's now nine months. It's like, yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. Can I tell Pretty you how much, much I hate that? <laughs> this fancy guy, because he makes no difference in this game. All right, that's the uh, priest. Priest. Be just outside of nine inches there? Yep. That's the uh, manor guy? Yeah. There's a question. If he dies, does that instantly stop that from doing the same thing? Or yes. Okay. Yeah, if he dies, then that ability goes away. He'll still have the Feel No Pain banner. Sure. sure. Yeah, he I guess that. Get the I didn't know if 8th like, Edition did the same kind of thing where like, if, it's, if it dies, you still get it because you bought it as a thing or whatever. Okay. I got to kill him. Fair deal. Mm -hmm. If he dies, he dies. I must break him. He's going to come in and beat stuff up. I'm going to shoot things. And by about turn three, we're going to have like five models left between each of us. Pretty much. That's a good guess. That's a good guess. All right. So second phase. Sure. Uh, we're going to do the unexpected and give the scout plus one attack. Let's <gasps> not go off on a four. Dun, dun. Uh, oh. where, where is that from? Right now. I had it by the collar. All right. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. That was <laughs> a good joke I was going to play on you. <laughs> it is going to um, smite. Sure. Uh, it goes off on an eight. All right, um, give me one sec. He's hiding back behind the thing. Four. I'm going to spend a command point for the World Eaters. Uh, deny, it's the same as Black Templars, denying a four plus. Okay. 24 inches from any World Eaters unit, and oh. it's the tank, so. All right, so down to four. They have a war. Close up, so. Smites the knight. All right, so shooting phase. Sure. Uh, scouts are going to shoot at the red brimstones. I figured as much. There's three regular guys and Storm Bolter. Okay. Hitting on threes. 
And wounding on three, is it right? Uh, yeah, T3. So four. Okay. Uh, one one lives, one. so three down. Um, right, everyone's in. So who gets to do the jump redeploy? Any jump pack character? Yeah. So character or unit? Any jump pack mob. Take these three. And then we have Librarian Stormbolter. Sure. He's going to shoot at the one red guy as you can see over in the corner. Sure. Uh, he misses both. He, he was like bolters. Yeah, well, like, what is this for? It's fine. It's fine. We're good. I don't know what these things are for. <laughs> this crazy talk. All right, so we're going to do rapid fire into yellow yeah, squad here okay. with a frag. Sure. So how much on the frag? Five this time. Okay. Let's see if it does something there. Two misses. Okay. Uh, one. I have the lieutenant right there, okay. so we get three all the ones. Sure. So one more. One more. Most of the toughness two. We are T three. Okay. And we're good on the six. So one down. And he's on two. Three all the one. So five. Okay. I'll save two. Mm -hmm. So, one, two, three. I'm going to try and clear this out as well. So, Leave my brims alone. They do nothing. They're just like, hey, what's up? Got two in rapid fire. Okay. So that's two rapid fire, two regular, and frag. Sure. So, four on the frag this time. Okay. And this is. We're rolling one for the lieutenants nearby. Two. So, two there. So, five, six, seven. Maybe not so great. Maybe sure. great. If Fair possible. Uh, no. Uh, one. And no. So, six dead, which is the unit. Yep. All right. So, that's going to match you on Reaper. Yep. Which is fine. Again, we knew that was going to happen. Yep. So, we got 20 shots from Seminary Guard going into that one. All right. Go ahead and start rolling. I trust you. Or I trust the stream to keep you legal. <laughs> The lieutenant. So three, four, five, six, seven. Which lieutenant? These guys are. No, no, no. Which lieutenant? Which the lieutenant? lieutenant. Oh, so the banner counts as the yeah. lieutenant. Oh, he's not Real a one to move. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, he's the secondary lieutenant. Gotcha. All right, so they don't really actually get a lieutenant. It's the. Yeah. Gotcha. Secondary ancient. Gotcha. All right, so how many? Seven <laughs> All right, this is good times. Yeah. Hey, oh, I got one. All right. So, pfft, you guys are useless. Uh, so, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got one from the, the two shots from the lieutenant. Yep. Two hits. Yep. Three rolling ones. Wounds. Yep. Two wounds. All right. So, two down. Cool. Thank you. And we got these guys here. 24 won't reach there. So into the blitz. Heavy bolter will go into the brimstones. Okay. So heavy bolter. Two hits. Uh, one wound. Okay. No return around. Okay. And you did the minus one for Apple Legion as well? Yeah. So one oh, wound? No, it's on the brimstones. Oh, sorry. 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 No, you're good. You hit obliterators. I got confused. Uh, nope. That is one dead brimstone. We got five and minus one on your blitz. Okay. Got you. Split fire. Uh, no. Okay. So shot, 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 Charges. Okay. Uh, first things first, Captain Window Overwatch is going to charge in with yep. his reroll. So I need a nine with a reroll. Fails. Fails. Reroll. Fails. Okay. 
Uh, we're going to do the scouts next. Okay. So, strength. Putting on twos. Uh, armor punch. Seven. Damage becomes irrelevant because you're one with models. So, wounding on, hitting on sixes, wounding on twos at minus two to your armor. Four hits. Unfortunately. Three ones. Three six outs. Nope. So three dead. Okay. Last guy. Makes it in on an eight. Okay. Good old Sarge. Good old Sarge. Griff. He's going to do what he needed to do. You got to do. I just got to do Griff. We're going to try for a big one on the librarian here. Seven will not make it. Not because you get it. You had to be at. I will spend one. Okay. Up and down a seven. Okay. We roll the one. Yep. Yeah. I'll make it on time. Fair deal. Can't stop that. I'd rather librarian than the thunder hammer guy with no Overwatch and hitting on threes, twos, well, rerolling everything. No Overwatch guy. At least now he's completely hidden. Line of sight. No. Listen. Well, I mean, you know what? I will. Man. I got a better chance of surviving that than I do against Captain Happy Pants. No. Oh, yeah. For sure. Um. Then we'll go ahead. We'll charge with the lieutenant first. We okay. need a 10 to make it in within one inch. Nope. Okay. And the guard. Nope on a seven. Okay. And I'm pretty sure he's out of range to do anything. You would need a miracle need, 12? You would need a miracle 12. I, I will allow you that because rules and friendship. I can go with miracle 12. Nope. Miracle six. You got half of it. Yeah. You got half. Maybe like your leg is just hanging out doing the hokey pokey. You get half for credit. Half, you get half. You, you, get, you get an A for effort. <laughs> Uh, so that's all of that. So okay. we got fight. Yep. We got the librarian. We got his three attacks. Sure. He does not hit on twos. Okay. I assume you need threes because of staff. Uh, actually, it'd be twos because of blood injury. Plus one of them. Okay. So AP minus yeah, two. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so minus two. Yep. So four up armor. Yep. And then D3 each. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Do individually? Um, give me one sec. Um, I got four. Kind of want to be a pain in the ass and keep them, so I'm going to re-roll the one. So one save, so D3. Killed. Fair deal. And then I'll go with the sergeant, unless you want to interrupt. Nah. I'm not <laughs> Didn't think so, but... No, you have okay. to ask, and it's fair. I get Give it, I get it, I know. He hits with two. Okay. And then your toughness four, right? I am T4. So no wounds. Okay. So uh, and, all right, so I'm going to... Punch the scout. Ooh, I know, rough choice. rough choice, right? Three attacks each. Mm -hmm. uh, hit on threes. They are strength five. So we're looking at uh, four armor saves. Cool. Kill them. Okay. Tink. So I guess for our ITC. That's not my player turn, so I don't count it as a killed unit. On your turn, you don't. It counts for the overall turn. Perfect, but not, but not your turn. That's all I care about. Okay. Because right now you've got one for this turn with the yellow brimstones. And then you got leadership on the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying a flat out kill is, right now, flat out kill is one to one. Morale could be comedy. Yeah. Okay. Um, kill, I do hold, and then morale up there. Sure. So I'm gonna spend two points and keep the green guys alive. Cool. Ah, uh, maybe. Uh, Check your man point. Yeah, at that point. So if I don't do that, at that point you control more than I do. True. So I'm gonna to have to. Okay. You evil, evil man, you. <laughs> uh, morale check on the red brims. I've lost four, so anything over a three, so I'll lose one more. Cool. Mm -hmm. Meh. Um, That's all you, sir. Okay. So at the end of your turn. You killed one, you controlled one, you killed one for the round. Mm -hmm. uh, you maxed out Reaper, and you haven't killed the character yet, and you got one for first blood. Yep. All right, so you're saying there's a chance, buddy. There is a chance. All right, so, huh, you know, shock, awe, surprise, the Blitz are going to leave. Oh, no. Really? Oh, no, they do a thing. Why would and they we're going that? that way. Why would they do that? I, oh, no, he's stuck again. Um, three up armor? On the priest? Yeah. Or library? Yeah, the library, yeah. Yes. Okay. Nothing special.
Just going to skeet around to the objective. Um, we're actually going to uh, Kool-Aid man to the wall. Okay. Since we said this was a... Okay. I'm just going to pull this off the top so we can measure out. Mm -hmm. Going to advance just to make sure. sure. And anywhere I want. So hey, Kool-Aid, in the wall, on the objective. Nothing like that. The reds have to maintain coherency, so I'm going to advance them. So, 10. I'm going to fight my librarian. <laughs> they don't really do much anything else, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. You already dropped in there, so if I can kill all the secondary guard, if you really want to jump over here and charge, I can't help that. Zerks uh, 1. Can advance. Go for it. Zerx two, can advance. Character one. <laughs> you are fast. You also hang out in the building. Seven. Character two, gonna be faster. Oh yeah, he is super, super speedy. Also in the building. So we went from the party bus to the party bunker. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hi, hi, hello, hi. How you doing? Hey, how's it going? Um, again, Fire Raptor cares not for your shooting. So, all right. So we got ten Sanguard, Sanguinor, mm -hmm. Lamartis. Captain Banner. Okay. He's got fly. Terrible idea. Yes. YOLO. Do you want to come this way? He'll... No, I mean, I really want to, but you want to I don't want time. to. You know, I, I was going to be a bro and give you points, you know? I appreciate that. I know. All right, so same guard. 36, we're going to be in hover. And we're going to chill out right about there because I love options. Scorpius, not going to move. Prince, totally going to move. I'll just advance him to make sure. And 14 inches gets me absolutely where I want to be. All right, Mungo's up. Hey, can I come too? So I got a three. So. Two up armor. Five up feeling no pain. Any invulnerables. Uh, the Sanguinor and Lamarck's The guard. No. Yes, you are not going to go death hex the guys with the only vulnerable save, so let's just go that way. Yep. So nine inches. Hooray. Okay. Uh, that guy really wants to keep up. He's like, I'll die first. I'll die first. Go get him, commander guy. No. Commander guy. Well, we had a good life. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a thing. I got to have a cool shotgun. I killed Marnus Calgard in another tournament. It's good times. All right. Movie's done. Points phase where I make up stuff as I go along. All right. We're going to feel no pain the Fire Raptor. That's a, actually RAR. And then... Um, TV rules charges, correct? Uh, the three D six charge is any any turn, mm -hmm. and that's any injury. Any any one with a jetpack. So, if you roll at least two box cars, somebody's getting punched in the face. Maybe the warlord, maybe the fire raptor. Nobody maybe knows. Both. Maybe both. Okay, no those dose. I do have a seven where I can fight twice. Sure. Thunder Hammer is minus three, but four damage. Yep. Flat four. Huh? Flat four. Yeah, yeah, I know what that was. Okay. He's a conundrum. He is. He is a uh, five attack, six attacks. He will have six on the charge base. Okay, what about uh, not uh, charge? Five. Hitting on twos, excuse me, ruling ones. Yep. Put down threes because it's not very much. It is a pickle, no doubt about it. 
All right, Prince, get a little paint. We'll go off on the seven. Fire Raptor for Prescience. 9 becomes a 10, so that goes off. Diabolic Strength, Prince. That was a really fun talk we were going to have. Armada Warp Time himself. Pretty sure it goes off on a nine. He'll advance. Last power. He'll try to give Armand a better inball safe. Goes off. Shooting. Scorpius, Kami both are at long range, and the first round of bazookas. I'm going to come back to that. Yeah, come back to that. Really want to kill him. Now, two shots long range, two hits. Nothing to nothing. Boom, Diada. One, two, three, four, five. So two at minus two. Okay. So one. Okay. And then does he shoot on the way out? He does. Okay. I am in rapid fire, so it'll be two shots. Sure. One hit. Sure. No wounds. Lieutenant okay. allows reroll. No wounds. Okay. Scorpius round two. And after weather the storm, same target. Okay. All right. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. That orc wind deal? Put it on that table over there. Five and minus two. Okay. So four, so this one. Yep. Do they shoot on the way out? Looks like two, two do. Okay. So we're gonna do four shots. Three hit. Yep. And no ones to reroll. One wound. One wound. And one wound. Minus one. Minus one? Yep. Okay. okay. Alright, so that is a kill. In my turn. And and two for the overall round. Yep. Fire Raptor. I can ignore him with a bit of character rules. Two last cannons here, two last cannons here. Everything else, sanguinary guard. Last cannons at the banner. Okay. Three row ones. Two hits because of presence. Yep. Mm -hmm. 36. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I should have 30. Yeah. Two wounds on the banner. Minus three. Okay. So six ups. How many goes through? Uh, how many wounds? Oh, he's got three. I'm going to. Burn my last command point. Okay. That's cop. Yeah. So that's headhunter. Yeah. And thousand cuts. Yep. Uh, not yet. I've done three this turn. Battle round. I killed one on your turn, which would go to battle round, but not on my kill, and I just killed two units. Oh. The scouts. I killed the scouts on your turn. Yeah, so I, didn't the, know, I didn't know that it counted on... It doesn't count for round. my turn, but it counts for the overall number of kills for more... Because uh, that's a check for battle round at the end. 
but it does not give me 1,000 cuts because that's not my, well, but we'll check 1,000 cuts if it matters, but right now I have three kills. Yeah. All right, two last cannons at the Librarian. Two hits because of prescience. It's battle round, so you do. Okay, cool. Two wounds on the Libby, minus three. One save, those two. All right, four wounds. Yeah. You'll be dead. That's four for this round. Everything else, sanguinary guard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's your bolt. Hitting on twos, rerolling ones. Ten hits. Wounded on threes. The banner just lets you shoot again or, or fight again, right? Yeah. Oh, but they lost it. Never mind. All right, two, four, six, eight at minus two. Okay. Two, six, eight. Well, these are your four ups. And then there are two ones each. Okay. All right, so roll these. Second one for that. So he'll survive. Second one for that. He'll survive. So one dead, okay. two dead, one with one left So one, two, and we'll go to wound out. So add a, oh, so you saved a bunch. So two wounds each. No, no, I'm just trying to go in my head of, yeah, I got you. Well, here's the question. They're not mortal wounds, so they wouldn't carry over. So wouldn't Correct. it punch through? So that's why I did them separately like that. Thank you. Again, I'm still getting used to goofy a thousand. <laughs> a unit that has a thousand and one rules, because mine just shoot a lot of bullets. That's the only rules I need is bullets. Okay. One, good. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's like a Sesame Street episode here. Twelve hits. It's just now, it's, it, it was 10 Avenger bolt cannon shots right. and 24 heavy bolters all at the guard. Uh, T4s, mm -hmm. threes. <coughs> all right, so three, six, nine at minus three. I'm sorry, minus one. Nine at minus one. I meant three. That's a three ups. Ooh, that's a horrible roll. And then yeah. five ups. That's a better roll. So two wounds. So the two guys that had one wound each. So it kills that one. And puts one over here. Okay. You roll a one. Two, four, six, eight at minus one. Top. Yep. So two wounds. But if you want to stick around, just know that. Um, they have not activated yet. Mm -hmm. They have no guns. He shot twice. They can't shoot. So just these guys again. Oh, two up armor or three up. Multiple wounds. It's about average, pretty much. So we'll just go for the intercessors. Yeah. Both of them. So just cool. four shots. Yep. Yeah. Hits. Two wounds. Okay. Two hits. Okay. Uh, can assault. Not gonna assault. <laughs> Leaving that bunker. Nope. Got my powers up. He's dead. That guy's man being my river. So that is the end of my uh, okay. turn. So morale checks on the guard. Nope. They're within six inches. Other fields. Well, okay then. So let's do the rounds. Uh, yep. So you hold one? So I do hold one. Well, two, so we tie on that. Yep, I did, did kill more than you. Yep. 
So you got three primary, I got two. Okay. You got two on head under now, two on thousand cuts. Yep. One on old. Yep. Okay. Cool. So then two for you for round one and two for you for round two. Yep. All right, round three. Fight. Oh. Uh, right now, uh, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for Mark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, seven, uh, six, eleven for me. Currently now nine for Mark and eleven for Jared. So you got uh, this round. How many points did he get? He got two points because he killed one and he controls one. I got that. I got three points because I killed. I killed one. I controlled one, and at the turn, I killed more than he did. Killed more total, right? Correct. And then I killed two characters. I killed a bunch of models. Still have. So you're at five on the bottom. We're both at five on the bottom. Yeah. And I'm up by two, so nine five to five. eleven. Yep. I love the paint job, by the way. Thank you. It's beautiful. I was thinking about using some of the Stormcats Eternals because their wings are just awesome. Yeah, I thought about doing that too. I was like, those are really cool models. I just, I can't paint white. I, I just can't. I tried like an off-white from the lane. Hey everybody, it's Dave. And Dave. Let's keep a wrap of that round two real quick. It's called Daka Dave, and that translates to lots and lots of shooting. So that's a Daka Raptor? <laughs> that is a Daka Raptor. Holy cow, throwing down rounds all over the place. Let's look at the scores right now. So the way I got it uh, marked out is Mark with his Blood Angels is currently has uh, two per uh, turn in his primary, and he has one, two, three, four, five in his secondaries. So he's sitting at a total of nine. Jared, on the other hand, has six in his primaries and also has five in his secondary. So Jared's only winning by two points, but the model count on the table tells a little bit of a different story, Dave. What he's, what he's saying is that story is. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like Chaos, that Fire Raptor, is throwing down so many rounds. It's doing a lot of devastation out there. I don't know how Mark's going to be over there and counter all of that shooting. Well, Dave, you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing the a noose starting to tighten around chaos because I think he's got a chance. I think Mark can still do it, can still pull it off. There's a little bit of time left for each of them to get some play in. Right. And uh, it could happen. We'll see. It's only two points. Let's see yeah. if we get a swing back. I mean, uh, Mark has plenty of room and headhunter and old school to get some points out there. We'll see how it goes. And they're closing in. They're closing in. All right, let's get back to the game. Shots are 12, but it doesn't matter because that little guy's there in front of him. Yep, yep. So we're going to shoot with the lieutenant first at those guys. Sure. Two hits. Surprising no one. Two wounds. Again, surprising no one. And, and again, surprising no one. That. So we've already maxed Reaper, but that'll be one kill. That'll be one kill for you this turn. So we got our six guys shooting at your. Shot down there. No, maybe. A little, yeah. bit, little uh, bit. A little bit. Uh, toughness comedy. So three. Yeah. Zero and one. Why not? Two failed. So seven. Uh, minus one. Uh, five with pinball. He goes forge bolt. Yeah. So why not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that was a big load of comedy. So, uh, you know, glad to see you. Yeah. Happy to try the veal. The head hunter there. All right, so that's a head hunter and two kills this turn. Yep. And then we have a. Am I within six there? Uh, you are within six. Do you have a thing that sets me on fire? No, but I have a frag grenade. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's kind of painful. I don't know. It's like you and sisters get Inferno Melt of Flamey Death Pistol. I don't really know. It's either the Inferno Pistol or 3 up and Bolt. I would go 3 up and Bolt. That's what I I mean Pistol. I mean Pistol. When I say Pistol, I mean Rolling Ones. Yep. And Toughness 4. Correct. 
go one, two, three, four. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this squad here? Yeah. We're, uh, good. we're good on all of them. Yep. Uh, we're gonna Yahtzee. Rapid fire here. Okay. So we got one crack. Yes. Sure. And a wound. Uh, minus one, so a three up. That was terrifying. D3? Yes. Or two. Two. Fair deal. So one remaining. One one guy's like my face. <laughs> He's like, ow, that kind of hurt. Crack is whack. Yep. Crack is whack. There we go. And fours. Fours. It's like four? Yep. Okay. Four minus one. So three ups for days. Uh, it's a cock. It's going to kill one at least. Yep. It'll kill one. So, Good job, Crack Grenade, doing its thing. Severely yeah. crippled. Severely crippled. He's just like a mouth eating it like pineapples, we thought, maybe. Maybe. So we'll shoot all this fun stuff. All right. So we're in rapid fire now. So two, four, six, eight, ten. And you measure it vertically as well? Yeah. Okay, cool. I figured I, it's one of those weird interactions okay. that I keep forgetting, like yeah. vertical. If you're not, if you're not shooting, you've got to actually measure down mm -hmm. and over. Mm. Hypotenuse, solve for X. 10 plus 4 for the storm bolt. Math. All right, so you got one guy underneath who can't shoot because he's on the bottom level. Yep. Cool. And then the heavy bolter will shoot at the brimstone because why not? Because why not? Bolters. Both airs. Half the bolter. Yeah, I'm not average. So one, two, three. Just well, uh, given my dice so far, statistically, you could probably kill him because that's how it goes, right? Last cannon, last cannon, last cannon, stick in the eye. No. Nope. Oh, we're good. And the one's going at the brimstone. Okay. Three hits. Three of minus one, don't matter because you're stupid. Doesn't matter because we're stupid. Oh, I saved one. Look at that. Amazing. Enough to make a leadership. It's the guys at the end that I don't care about. Thank you, Drew. Call the shots. Okay. The charges. Okay. We are going to charge with Sanguinor first. Sure. Since you can't see him. I know. I figure. So let's see what we got here because we've got a nice little rule called fly. So it looks like we're exactly nine away, so we need eight to get there. Sure. Okay. No. Okay. I'll use a reroll. Sure. Makes it on eight. Okay. And, and it's your intent. It's, it's your intent to base me. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna do this for I, I have to ask. Excuse me, Charlie. I gotta ask. Eight. At who? So he'll definitely uh, make it. Okay. He's not going to base you. Ooh. Look at you, Mr. Yeah. Fancy Pants. Those guys are. Over. They're happy just doing what they're doing. Yeah. They're just like we're just gonna hold an objective. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Cool thing we do, yeah. It's a cool thing we do. These guys are gonna give you some free shots for a 10 inch charge. That's, it works so well for the scouts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, strength, one done twos, yep. armor punch, two damage will matter because you're, mm -hmm. so three. Yep. Yep. So hitting on sixes, wounding on twos, yep. minus two to your save. Yep. Ooh. Got two. Got one. Saved. Look, look at you. Hey. Uh, no. Not enough. Not enough. And not did, enough. Did use one for the reroll. So we'll mark that. Yep. And then we'll pop two for the 3d6 charge. I had expected nothing better. That's why the berserkers are like, whatever. And then since you can't shoot him anyway, he's going to charge everything within 12 inches. Sure. Just to see where he goes. All right. You're going... Uh, 10, 13. 13. So he's going to tag what he needs to tag. He's gonna do what he gotta do. So we got 13, he's right there. Sure. So we're gonna attempt to stay three inches away from the demon prince. Sure. And just to make sure. You good there? Uh, what? You want to say? That's on your base, you're, I'm getting three inches. So, sorry, I apologize. Okay. So right yeah, there. you were close there. Good there? Uh, let's. Go this way, because again, I'm still going to clip you just barely. I am this angle, going to clip you just barely, and still going to clip you just barely. 
said, now you're pushing my model out of the way. I didn't push your model. You just moved. Okay, you're fine. There you go. He's gonna kill that. That's all that matters. <laughs> I know. Again, because we're all right, I gotta keep you yeah. legal. I gotcha. And then we're gonna pop one for D3 extra attacks. Got what we gotta do. One. Okay. So, we're gonna reroll that because we got command points to burn. Three. Cool. Didn't you reroll over here for the charge of the Sanguinor? That's in the charge phase, but not in the fight phase. Correct. I apologize. So we got. Total of nine with him. Okay. Um, it's gonna be a thing. Yeah. Well, we're gonna go in first because Sorcerer doesn't do anything to those guys. So hitting on threes. Okay. Uh, ones I re-rolled, twos are just straight misses to the Thunder Hammer. Sure. So twos. Two rolling ones. For all this. And he's gonna be wounding on twos. Those are Blood Angels, and we like to smash though. So three, six, nine at minus three, and they're going to be four damage each. So no sickness? No. Cool. I had to make a gamble on the Prince or the Plane, and you, yeah. you, you have threat range to either one, and either one is equally vital, so. Yeah. All right. So blows up. I want that six. I really do. It's going to be hilarious. Is it 36 wounds, then? Not even looking. Oh! oh! All right. Nice. Let's do some comedy. Like it. All right. Let's check the Forge World book because it's hilarious. Welcome to what my friend Mike Kaiser calls the Eye of the Jew. <laughs> Things that aren't supposed to work totally work. I'm all right with it. All right. Two, two, two. Everybody in six is D6 mortal wounds. Okay. Let's we'll start with your world bears and then we'll work around on my captain. Absolutely. So let's go six. It's going to clip the rhino there. It's going to clip the rhino there. And it's going to. Everybody. Everything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> even even the guys in the bunker get hit. It's going to clip the berserkers. All right. So let's just go around the world because of the bed. Yep. Berserkers in the thing is going to be good. Three. Three. All right. Totally not the champion because I like him. All right. Characters are thankfully out. Rhino one. Uh, two. So I'll just count up. Or count what's taken. Yep. That guy there. Two. All right, that's the thing. Out, you know. Uh, my search over here. Three. Space Pope. Scorpius, Prince. Woo. All right, five, five up, feel no pains for the power. Two, six up, feel no pains because the warlord trait for the stacks. Thanks, GWFAQ. So it takes two ones. That's fine. He's he's he's. How many ones? Good. He's got five ones? Yeah, five, yeah. He's got the other one. It's just gonna be funny. Predicting a one. Three. Okay. Six ups. Oh, thanks, three. Okay. Arrivederci. Buongiorno. He is down to two. Uh, all right, so that's the fire raptor this round. Yeah, so that's the fire raptor this round, uh, the brims this round, well, the I commander this round. I know, I'm just going over what you got. Yeah, I'm right. just saying what's what's dead already. <laughs> Lots of things. Okay. Uh, so the mark is going to get within one inch of your Scorpius. Okay. Skeet, skeet. Yep. And if you didn't declare him as a charge, can't attack him, but he will attack your Scorpius. Yeah, guys. Okay. He's got six days for the charge, plus yep. one for Sanguinor being around. Sure. He hits on twos, re-rolling ones, because he's Death Company, and Fair. there's something like that. Pretty good. I hear it's pretty good. And he's going to wound on twos, because he's Lamar's. It's not good to re-roll to wound, man. Good for you. So at four and minus two, and it's going to be D3 each. Four minus two. Oh, 
save to. Okay. Three, three. So that's five. Yep. And then Sanguinor is going to activate, move his three, and then pile in three, tag the tank. Yep. And then you get to swing back with your tank and with the one world bear there. So the one word bear, he's got one chain sword. He hits. He doesn't. Out of range. So there's a wound. Okay. Uh, he's a champion. So. Three attacks base, plus one for being in a world leader's attack. I didn't charge. I didn't charge. Try that again. This is your tank? This is the power sword. Okay, you, I have chain sword for one extra attack and the power sword. So two power sword hits. Uh, one power sword wound. Strength five? Yeah. <laughs> Save it on three. Okay. Um, I'll activate him again because he's a berserker and I can fight twice. Cool. Chain sword. Chain sword. One normal wound from the chain sword. You good? All four power weapon attacks. And two power sword. Takes one. So he's taking three? Uh, fiddle pain. Oh, sure. Sorry? Uh, yeah, it's takes one. Okay, so he's taking three? Yeah. And five total? Uh, he's taking three, yeah. So and five total wounds? Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then your Scorpius onto my dudes back there? You know, it's just funny. I'm just going to punch the Martys because. Sure. There were four up in both, three up in both, three up armor. They're both three up, four. Both. Well, we got three up armor, four up in one on both. Let's see, I'm at uh, two ones taken, so I'm still in the not angry profile. So hitting on fives. As the Scorpius takes damage, it's worse to shoot, but better in close combat. And if the Scorpius kills a model, I get to heal wounds. Cool. It's dumb. So, Lamarts. He does have a name, but it's not a friendly name on stream. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. All right, nothing on the Scorpius. Okay. Um, so leadership. All right, let's check it out. So brimstone's minus two. Yes. We're happy. Cool. The blood minus one, so he's good. Yep. The, the All right. Party bunker there with a minus three. I am within nine inches of the apostle, so I'll use his leadership. Okay. So I can't fail. The nine. Lost three. Okay, for that one. So yeah. And this one's minus That one's four. gonna have a problem. <laughs> That one's going to have some work. Where's the six? All right. Um, out of ten. Yeah, right. All right. Nothing good about that. Dead guy. So that is a unit. So that's a, a th one. So um, that. Raptor. Commander. That's four units this turn kills for you. Uh, yeah, one more leadership here. Yeah, I'm just, again, I'm going through oh, as yeah, she's dead. Yeah. Uh, these guys, again, out of range. Lost three. Nine. Uh, lead eight on the champ, so. Blah. Cool. And then Armand's got two that I took, right? Oh, uh, yeah, for the mortals, yeah. Pink. Anything else? Uh. I kind of want to, just because it'd be for the hilarity of it. Oh, fight again? Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll use our final command points to fight again with Sanguinor on the tank. Sure. So, then with that. So he's got his six attacks, because he didn't have fun with the other guy. Sure. Hitting on two. That one went in there. It's a two. And a four. That is a four. So cool. Here we go. And then he is strength six. Toughness seven. seven. So normally fives, fours, because I'm a blood angel. So two. Those are going to be minus three, D3 each. Save one. Okay. Actually, it's minus four. Is it? It's yeah. minus four for his two side, two hand sword. Oh, then I don't is get nothing. One? Okay. So five. Cool. All right, so up to seven. It's 
a little spicy, a little painful, a little verklempt. All right. So uh, four remaining. Drive, drive. Good. Look for that. Uh, All right. So you killed one slash four. Yep. You control one slash three. Mm -hmm. um, you're maxed out on that. I uh, give you one, two for headhunter, okay. the sork and the commander, and nothing yet for old school. All right, so bottom of three. Yep, yeah, bottom of three. Cool. He's going to stay there. He's going to stay there. Hey everybody, it's Dave. And Dave. Holy guacamole. Talk about a coin flip. That was some death and destruction, Dave. <laughs> I was telling you that noose was tightening around his neck. I think he just got him in a big giant chokehold. Dude, a chokehold and a, what's it called? And a fish hook, right? I mean, he fish gave him a double up. whammy. Holy cow. I, I I did not see that coming. I don't know if you did. I did, did Dave. I did. <laughs> I told you. you so, let's talk about what happened just real quick. The captain... Jump across, squeezes in, squeezes squeeze, in. Just a little squeeze. Does the extra attacks, use the command reroll so he gets maximum attacks. Almost everything goes through. He did like 36 points of damage to that fire. Why after. didn't he get shot by Overwatch? So that Blood Angels captain's got a little special, special sauce. He can't get uh, hit in Overwatch, so no Overwatch on the Blood Angels captain. Ain't that a beast. And then what happens? He rolls a six, the Fire Raptor blows up, does D6 damage, all those units cluster on. One of the dangers of trying to have like an, uh, a gun line or a nice tight castle is if something like that happens, there's no escape, right? You're, you're in trouble. Yeah, but that Fire Raptor is dangerous like Maverick. <laughs> dangerous. dangerous. That's right. Oh my goodness. So the worm is turned, ladies and gentlemen. We got a little bit of game. Uh, the, uh, bottom of the third we're going to the bottom of the third let's see what jared can do to try to come out of this uh, whirlpool that he fell down into oh man i can't wait to see it we'll be back all right keep your eyes open Yay. okay brain phase feel no pain in the prince what's up Five, and that is just at five. Okay. That is just under five. Okay. So, so we're going to smite the marks. Okay. Goes off on the five. Okay. One, one. And feel no pain. Okay. Takes one. Put a three next to him there. We're going to death hex Sanguinor. Okay. Goes off. Okay. No invo save for you. Ha ha ha. It's good. I know. It's okay. It's fine. We're very okay. So, shooting phase. Fell back. Here. Mm -hmm. Double commie. Okay. Try to drown you in bullets. Uh, fortunately, no prince to reroll for shooting. Not the fight phase, so uh, three. Okay. Two up armor? Yeah. Um, Captain? Yeah, oh, oh he's got three up. Right. Yeah. Two in a minute, so he's down to one. Yeah, I didn't know if they like cool, like artificial yeah, armor again no, no. or Gravis. All right, crack grenade. I only talk to myself about artificial Good talk, coach. Yeah. Crack grenade. Hits. Wounds. Good. Okay. Combi bolts are here. Yep. Nobody hits. Uh, two, two, two. Looks like one wound. Yeah. And another reroll, so feel no pain. Now go. Okay. So that's Warlord. Yep. Headhunter. Yep. Okay. 
He did his job. And that's one kill for me this turn. Okay. Lamar has two ones left. Uh, he starts with four, so he's got three left. He took one. Your yeah, you're right. Yeah, right. Mine only did one. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, combi bolter from that guy. Okay. Because the flamer's out of range. Because it looks surprised, dude. Yeah. One hit. Uh, wound on a four. Okay. Armon is going to to three up either way, right? Uh, or four up, two up on the second one. Right, but it's a minus one armor, yeah. so it'd be a three up on him or a four up on him. Correct. Right. So, sure, why not? We'll uh, pistol the marks. Okay. Hitting a six. Okay, four. Good talk, coach. Prince will try to warp bolter the marts. Two hits. Take four. Good talk, coach. Double combi bolter at the Primaris. Okay. Uh, two. Blitmo. Uh, eight. And one's on twos. Minus one. Ooh, minus one. Can you give it that? Two. Okay. So, well, that's a matter. Mm -hmm. Three hits. Or that. So one at minus one. Good. Okay. Uh, Bow pistol, any gun? Nope, just crack grenade each is what I'll use. Fair enough. Um, Shapai's bow. So, uh, let me just make sure. He can't shoot because I advanced or fell back. That shot, they did their crack grenades, that shot, a blitz shot, so, and they all did, yep, I'm going shooting. Yep, so two crack grenades. No hits. Okay. Charge distance. Enough. Hi. Yeah. Right. Um, Armand's gonna come in. Okay. Six, eight. Seven. We know you have three. Yeah. All right. And you're at a command point, so you can't interrupt. Mm -hmm. I have a comedy tenants charge for the champion. Cool. It was again like you, the half effort. No. At least he tried. He had a good chalk. He had a <laughs> Rhino. Okay. About a nine. Okay. Ah, it's a really bad idea. Never mind. Fooled you. Uh, Rhino's gonna charge the Primaris. Okay. No, uh, so we got. One crack. One, two, three, four regulars. One hit. Oh, cut, cut. No wounds. Okay. Beep, beep. That's it. Hey. Blitz are going to charge the uh, tax block. Okay, so we got three on the edge, four on the edge there? Uh, yeah, four on the edge. And heavy bolter can see through down here. Sure. So we got heavy bolter. Sure. Ooh. Can't stop that. One that matters, right? That or that. Matter, yeah. Okay. Makes sense. So two, four, six, eight. Yep. Uh, sergeant. Sergeant Santa. Okay. We got mm -hmm. two, four, six, eight. Sergeant and storm bolter. Okay. Just one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think it might be. Well, 
diagonally I'm four, so I would get an inch to here, then go up three and be within an inch of your guy. Cool. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. you're good. All right. Barely, barely. All right, let's three go around the horn. Armand is going to attack the Marts. Four attacks. All hit. Mm -hmm. A six. Two wounds at minus one. Two. Oh. <laughs> what is it, mini golf? <laughs> two. We're good. We're good. That's good. Yeah, two. yeah four pinball. I think I actually have two dice in there now. Uh, oh. One. There's two. <laughs> oh, there's a six. All right. Yes. Two ones left, correct? Or no, three ones left. Three ones left. Sanguinor has five wounds. Kill no pin on Sanguinor. It's two up armor. Since he got rid of his four up. I'm going to go five on the Sanguinor and three on the Marts. Okay. The Marts hits. Uh, the mark wounds. So minus two. Of course. One wound does two. All right, so two ones. Okay. So one left. Yep. Yep, takes two. Down to one. Two. All hit. Mm -hmm. All wound. Two. So and five at minus two, two on its angle. Okay. So four up again. Two. Uh, one, two, go through. So four wounds. Okay, so it's down to one. Oh, I apologize. I didn't get dialogue straight though. Yeah, he's dead. It was just upside down to mark something. <laughs> so we got one wound on each of them left. All right, so continuing the charge. Put a skull next to him. Sure. Uh, the blitz into the attack. Yep. Hit three times. Cool. Wound three times. Okay. Oh. Yep. So three times. Great. The tank. Yep. Good talk. Cool. Um, that's it for my charges. So you're good. Okay. Uh, so blitz. We got this guy piling in, piling in, piling in. Um, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attacks. Two, six, nine. Then on threes. Then we on fours. Actually, threes because you charge me. That doesn't matter in this case. So four wounds. Ooh, there it is. One. So he's down to one left, right? No, he was full up. Oh, okay. Yeah, the other guy you blew away with. Oh, okay. cool. So, pile in, pile in, pile in, pile in. So we got four sergeant. One, two, three, four nose. Sergeant. Normally it would be five, it's going to be four, it's going to charge me. So, four. Let's do. Oh, no, the right is this. Yeah. Oh, Brent. All right, so Sanguinor's got one wound. The Marts has one wound left. Uh, he's got... I did two from the Prince. So he, he's taking three, so he's got one left. Okay, so one. Yeah, so I four, just want to... I don't want to... Skulls on there. Gotcha. All right, so I, just, I, didn't want, I saw the three head oh, hearts. I didn't want to... So we got six from Sanguinor going into the Prince. Okay. He's going to be hitting on twos. And then he's going to be wounding with toughest. Six. Okay, so normally it would be fours because it's plus two on the strength, so minus one, so threes. So three at minus four. Still so single. And then how many? Those do D3 each. So three, four, five, six. And he already took two, so that's eight total. Oh, he has nine wounds to start. Correct. Plus one from the thing. Yep. 
So five up, five up, six up, two, three. So I've taken five ones with four left. Okay. Then so we'll do the marts. You hit seven attacks. You'll be hitting on twos, re rolling because he's blood into it. Or death number to say. And he is plus two also, so toughness six, right? Okay. So that'll be threes on him as well. So four more. Nice. Minus twos. Okay. Five of again. Okay. And damage? One, uh, it's four, right? Yeah, so. Two, 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 two got three. Two, two, three. So five. So one left. Cool. And then I'll have one more. That's the end of combat. Okay. No morale checks. Uh, so you killed the captain, so you killed one. Yep. And you do still hold an objective? I do. I hold three objectives? Yep. So you get more, and I did kill more. Yes. Four for you, two for and me. And don't have yours, so we got four to two there. And then again, you've maxed that Reaper. You have two character kills. So far, one for old school. Mm -hmm. uh, then I have two for old school with the Warlord and the first strike. Yeah, so 2,000 cuts, two old school, and then three, three headhunters. Head yep. So round four. Let's do this. Should be quick. Hey everybody, it's Dave. And Dave. All right, that is the end of round three. Round four is going to go quick, so we're not going to be here too long. Dave, it is still a battle out there. I there, think it's a close game, Dave. It is a close game. Our scores currently sit with all the secondaries and primaries involved at 15 to 15. This game well, is not close. over. Yeah, it's close. We got Demon Princes and Iron Mons tied up in the combat. We got Lone Berserkers rolling around the table. We got a Blitz challenging full units of... Uh, Space Marines, it's ridiculous out there. Well, no matter what, within 20 minutes, we're going to have a victor. Exactly. Any within, man's game. Any man's game. Let's see. I, Jared is intense right now. Mark is intense right now. Whoever wins this most likely goes on to tomorrow. Oh, no, they're going on. Definitely. And uh, we'll see. Huh? We'll, we'll see, see who pulls this thing out. All right, back to the game. So, eh, fair enough. Go right back in just to make sure he goes first. Sure. So, shooting? Yep. Uh, since your armin does not affect me, so I'm going to dump every, all 12 of my shots into him there. So we're going to start with the, there's six guys there still. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's good. He's going to be hitting on threes. And then we're going to be winning on fives. And then we're going to be minus one to save. Yeah. Oh, they have super awesome bolt guns. Yeah, they're just they're twelve inch, but minus one. Gotcha. So two, 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 two four, two, five up. Oh, Ooh. Right, you're gonna make me throw a crack grenade at him from somewhere. Huh? Okay. Hits. Well, uh, does not wound. Uh, he's out of range to shoot. Yep. He fell back. They, they fall back, back and they are in combat. They're already fighting. Yep. Okay. So charges. Sure. Uh, we're going to charge with the sanguinary guard into Armin and the prince. Okay. So prince, nothing. Space Pope, cocked. Nothing. Okay. So distance there. Me, bro. What do we got? That's need a five to get out. 
Oh, yeah. Sure. We're going to hop on over. And wrap around you. Okay. And he's going to hop in there. Sure. All right. Uh, so that's it for charges. We're going to the fight phase. Okay. So we're going to do Sangamon first. Sure. Because that's the smart thing. So he's hitting on twos. On this. Wounding on threes or fours for your charge. So one. Minus four. Damage. D three. Yep. One. Six up. Okay. And he'll, he'll elect not to pile into Armin. And then we'll go with the Sanguinary Guard next. Okay. So they'll surround Armin there. Essentially, just make it so he can't pop out even if he does survive. That's fine. We got one, two, you, three, four, um, five, six. Yep. So base two plus one for single. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hitting on threes. Toughness four? Yes. Okay, so wounding on threes. So two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven at minus three. And we'll do D3 each. Eleven? Yep. Uh, four pinball. I get to reroll once because I'm infantry. So, so three, three, three. Yep. So six. Yeah. Didn't go down easy though. No. He's right. He, he's pretty hard to kill, man. All right, so that's and two no kills. Yeah, I'll pile. I'll consolidate in. Won't be able to get in there, actually. I don't think so. No. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll stay there. Okay. Oh, you we had got, one one of the guard. Yeah, we got this fight over here. Sure. So we got three on the sergeant. Sure. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Yes. Yes. Uh, one, two, three, four. Plus one this time. Cool. Um, this is okay. Three swings back at me. <laughs> what he does. Three hits. Yeah. Uh, three ones. Okay. Three saves. Okay. Yeah, Alright, so at the end of your turn, you've definitely killed one. Yep. You definitely control one. Yep. And by my count, you have killed two units this turn. Armand mm -hmm. and the Prince. Yep. I gave you two headhunters, so you're maxing headhunters. Yep. And you have two for old school. Yep. Okay. And max on reef. Yes. You know how much time we got left? What was that? Uh... Huh? Should be 12 minutes? 11 minutes? 11, 11 minutes? minutes? Okay. Should be able to get through your turn. Yeah, 11 minutes. Okay. I don't, think, I don't think we'll get another one, though. Do you, all right, so here's the question. Let's take one minute. Do you want to call this last turn, or do you want to go another full turn? Doesn't matter to me, either. Tell you what, let's math it out and see what happens. Let's, let's make... Okay. So by primaries, yep. right now, not including the end of the turn, because we can't figure yeah. that out. One, two, three, four, eight... With the potential plus stuff. Yeah. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, and it's still my entire turn to go. Mm -hmm. So we're tied on primaries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for your secondaries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for my secondaries. So we're still pretty close. Um, were we to, we would at least, we would both get last laugh if this was the last round, mm -hmm. if I kill something. Um, I'm probably gonna get line breaker. Yep, I got line breaker for sure. Yep, unless I kill everything. Maybe not. So we'll both cap out on old school. So really, for me, it's I gotta get bonuses, I gotta kill a character, and I gotta kill a bunch of units. Which is po it's possible. Yeah, it's trying to tie, yep. We'll try to get tie, but try to pump out primaries. Mm -hmm. I would like to go to round, as far as we can get, to round five. Okay. Okay, so we'll have my turn, your turn, my turn, gentlemen's agreement, we call it. Yeah, cool. It just helps plan out what I want to do. Right call, yeah, if he calls dice down. I would say, take the turn and divide the time. Sure. So, sure. That's yeah. Drive in? Yep. Can we shoot real quick? Well, they're going to advance? Yep. Good, so they can contest the objective. Spell out. Move up. Move up. Move up. Move up. Not moving. Brain phase. Aha. Scorpius one and combi bolters at the same Yeah. Sanguinary. 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 Yep. Yep. So combi bolter. All hit. Yeah. He's, he doesn't go down for losing all I'm those four ones. Okay. I thought he was, had four left. Well, you did punch me, you're right. So four left. So, um, so are we were hitting on fives. Okay. No, um, fours, sorry. Three, sir. Usually it's either dead by now or it's untouched, so. I have four wounds, so hitting on fours. Okay. So I'll do it again. All right. Hits. Copped. Three ones. Three saves. Okay. Scorpius one. Uh, six, seven, eight. Uh, three, but minus two. Okay. So one fails. So it kills off the one wound guy back there. We'll do it again. Six. Yep. Three. Two. One more, and it's two damage. Two damage. Okay, so one more guy right in front, guys. Crack grenade from squad one. Yep. Hits. Wounds. Saves. Crack grenade from squad two. Misses. Crack grenade from squad three. This is Combi Flamer, Combi Bolter. So. Uh, one so far from the Bolter. Good. Flamer shots. Five. Four. Takes one. I got, yeah. So got back some there. dude, yeah. Some dude. All right, um, Kami Bolter from the champion. Good. Uh, three. So one of the guys dead. Kami Bolter from the bat. Tommy Bolter at the uh, Primaris. Mm -hmm. Four. Takes one. So. Okay. okay. Charges. Beep beep. Yep. Crack. No. Yeah. 
Uh, just contesting. Cool. What's that? Yeah. Um, he's got one one left. Yep. Uh, we're gonna declare a charge at everything twelve inches. Okay. So, uh, so which one's going uh, first? We'll go with the apostle. Okay. So six shots. Two hit. No wounds. Seven. Yep. Next thing there is. Yep. He's there. Charging. Uh, everything 12 inches with the uh, first squad. Okay. So they're locked up. So is anyone done? No. See within six. You are not. Just okay. out. Seven. This guy here. He's within six. Or... No. Wrap around. So we'll just keep yeah. that content there. Uh, that guy there. Skeet Skeet. Champion. Skeet Skeet. Alright. Uh, no points for you to interrupt. So we're just going to start with the champion. Chainsword. Obviously against the angle uh, guard. It hits. We roll wounds. So nothing. Um, two, three. Uh, I'll hit. Strength five. I hit on two. Yeah, he does. Uh, strength five. Re rolling wounds. All right, um, four at minus four. Minus four. It's the murder sword. Right. One damage each, four wounds. So we'll take the front guy here and the guy next to Sanguinar there. Okay. We'll activate the Apostle. Moves in. Goes after Sanguinar. He will himself for hits. I'll hit. Strength six, failed wounds. So three at um, whatever power mall minus is. Minus two? Minus two. Good. Uh, it takes one. One I'm dead. Okay. Berserkers, uh, I'll just roll three squads at once, three chain swords. Mm -hmm. Are rolling? Chain swords. Chain sword. Uh, two normal armor saves from the chain swords. Um, power swords. Power swords. That many at minus three. So, uh, eight. Okay. Dead. Okay. And then we'll just all consolidate and just chill out there. Three attacks to the blit. Uh, tank into the sissy charge tank. Mm -hmm. Two hits. One wound. Okay. Blit. Two. One hit. One wound. Good. Okay. There's still nine there. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One. Loves it. Two. And then these guys fight back. Yep. So four, one, two, three. Four is because he charged me. Four. Alright, so three get through. Doesn't matter. Five. Alright, so that's uh so control one, kill two units. Yep. I kill two units. Yep. So no one gets that. I do hold more, so I get an extra one there. And no bonus. So we have three to two. Yeah. Right, keep on trucking. Um, yeah. uh, I think let me ask if I can call that jack. You got to be. Oh. So, cool. And again, then, man. Joe's calling it. What the hell again? All right. So, thanks for casting, man. No problem, buddy. Hope you guys had fun watching it. Oh, yeah. It was a good game. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're primary for me. 
with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to the secondary, so 20. I got 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 primary for you, and 12, 22, 20. Yeah. Yep. What the hell are we getting, man? Yeah, dude. This. If you didn't kill that, you were done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what the hilarity of this is? Is I haven't won a tournament in Arizona all year. Nice. And now I'm in top A for LVO. I'm like, uh. <laughs> but no, it's a high intensity game. Jared, you get a chance if you guys put your scores in. Yeah, oh yeah. Let me know I do have one random question. Yeah. So this guy in the Working bottom. Test hold on. Here. This guy in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't for the couple of rounds we've been in combat, he has to get up to get within an inch of me? He can elect not to pile in. If he can fight, then he has to fight, but he can elect not to pile in. Yeah, I dig it, man. I see it. I see it. Yeah. The stream absolutely loves your game. Good, good. As a spectator sport, that was one of the best fights uh, I've seen in three years of doing top tables at the LBO. I try, uh, I, I try to, to make them work for it. Uh, I thought, uh, I thought you guys. Well, I want to sit here. I'm going to hold because right. it was good stuff, and I want to talk about it a little. Bit, so uh, I don't want to. I don't want to. Spoil, oh, spoil and then have to do it all over again, right? Yeah. So we'll just hold on a second. All Dude. right, we're on. Hey, everybody, it's Dave, Dave, and Jared, Jared. aka. Oh my goodness, the Iron Jew. The Iron Jew, the Eye of the Jew. Oh my gosh, the man, I'm still. <laughs> it's almost founded. speechless, right? What an exciting game! You guys came into it both five and zero. Oh. You know, you set up. You had good opposing armies. We were talking. It's going to be a bloodbath out there, Jared. Talk us through some of the key elements of the game. How to go. I know you ended up losing, but man, what a fight. Uh, early on, things were looking pretty good, yeah? So, uh, as we mentioned, um, because I won the rule to infiltrate the uh, cultists, That's right. I was able to block out the death company. Yes. So, knowing his list, uh, I know the death company, I'm going to start on the table. They're going to use their stratagem to move naturally. Boom. And they're going to move again, and they're just going to hit me as hard as I can. Right. Comboed with the sanguinary, the sang bomb, as right. call, all the character dropping in, that is a brutal, brutal first turn combo. Yes. You, on a deployment, uh, I was hoping for hammer and anvil, got the really shortest version I could possibly get with the models that move as far as the table can see. Right, right, right. Um, so getting that infiltrate was really key to stop, and as you saw, he didn't use the, 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 the strategy. Right. At which point, I've got carte blanche with my guns to just take out the death company. Take out one of the biggest threats on the table at the time. I'm not really concerned about the Primaris. The bolt guns are devastating at long range. The minus one really matters in the game with sure. now 8th edition. But not much threatens the Fire Raptor, which is a need of my army. Well, his Primaris are really, they're almost like a Death Guard type coming I mean, They're almost there to soak wounds. They're, they're tough. They're, they're, they're there to soak objectives. Yes, they're exactly. literally there because. Camp those things out, right? Camp those things out. Two ones each, three up armor, two up in cover, toughness four. Um, any kind of damage reduction with multiple wound models is huge to so the field right. of pains of blood right. you can get. And there's some really, really objective campers. The Fire Raptor. Yes. You just said it's the meat of your model. That thing's like a side of beef. <laughs> so like Rocky be, would work out on that thing. So I've had that model beef. in my closet for a year. Uh -huh. I like the concept. I play 30K, the Fire Raptor, the Stormy Ruler, great models in 30K. Sure, yeah. Eighth edition comes out and. When you look at efficiency and the pricing and the amount of damage you can dish out, it was great. I have not not played a game turn one, uh, day one. I uh, went through Nova Invitational, got mm -hmm. fifth. Went through Nova Open, did pretty good. Right, right. Um, won Golden Screw uh, tournament in Albany uh, two weeks ago. I mean, it's obviously came a great here, player, man. Came I tell here, you. And as I said, Ford will made it cheaper for no reason. Thank you very much. So we, uh, we have a name for it. Uh, we call it the Fire Crutch. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. You said they made it cheaper. You mean that you can buy it cheaper now? No, the points oh, wise. Oh, the with points chapter cost. Approved, I'll bet the dollar cost with or whatever. Chapter approved the drop. Up. No, no, no. With so, chapter approved the drop 40 points, which is why now you see everyone running. Three of them are, and uh, building men. You see two with Magnus and Mortarian and rerolls. They are pound for pound the most efficient death dealing unit. The four last cannons are popping tanks. 
the Avenger Bolt Cannon at two wounds is cleaning up Primaris, sure. his bikes, yeah. Celestine. Doing work. Doing well, we work. saw you tear it up first round. And, and, and second on top round. of that, you know, you, you buff it up, right? You dump prescience on there. You use your Marcus Lanesh to give yeah. a couple double rounds of it, shooting. It frustrates. He was, again, that's the way to kill it. 36 wounds with Hunter Hammers. <laughs> it frustrates opponents all tournament when they hit it with the last hand and doing six wounds and I take three. Right, exactly, it exactly. Is, pound for pound, Slanesh is the so best one. So, i got to say, I'm sitting there watching, yep. and you had this nice, tight fire base, right? Yep. You, you, Unlike a lot of armies where you see those berserkers go rushing forward, for you, your berserkers are beta, right? People come in, you're in this, in this game anyway, yep. you're holding games. them back on Almost the back games. line. Come on in, and my berserkers are waiting like a pack of lions. On games short like games, games right? like this. Uh, last round, I placed Tinsilico. Right. Uh, a couple rounds before, I placed an orc horde. Uh huh. 150 boys. Super aggressive. Super. He was super aggressive. The berserkers. They wait. As you heard me call it, the party bus. <laughs> yes. They wait. Maybe they'll kill the rhino. They'll kill my screens. I really don't care about the cultists. And then the berserkers come out. And at full strength with the two characters, it's dumping about 120 attacks. Right. Wow. With positioning, with the attacking twice, with the wheeling around. Sure. Their movement is That's off the crazy. chain. So, off the chain. So I gotta say. Outside looking in, mm -hmm. I get to watch a lot of games. I get to make comments on it. I thought you played a fantastic game. I love shooting the guys off the far objective yep. with the whirlwind. Yep. I love your setup and deployment, keeping your berserkers back. I love where your oblitz came down. At first, I thought it was a little risky, but then, especially when the captain failed to charge him, my man, they're going to keep doing work for you. It forces him to go where he doesn't want to go. You played a great game. Like I'm sitting there looking at it, and I know you lost. And quite frankly, it was by the skin of your teeth. No, the only the only actual mistake I made was I should have moved the fire raptor farther back once I saw the captain was going to come at me. Dude, his charge, he still would have made it. I think. Right? Class, well, I can get to the corner. Oh, uh, maybe if you got all if the I way through. If I go all the way back, I don't have to worry about it. I still have range to all his guys. Right. He doesn't make the charge. He punches a berserker. Captain is just going to eat as many last cans as I can. You know, you're trying to stay close. There's benefits to staying yep. close. There's some buffs Absolutely. in there. Absolutely. You know, but wow. Close game, close laws, but still the greatest sport. What do you say about yourself? So, uh, <laughs> as we said before, what did I say for the staff? Uh, I am the team captain of the Tiki Gods from right. the Identicon team tournament. We have won Team Spirit three times out of our six showings. Uh, we've been told by Chris and the staff and Jason they will not give us the award ever again. Uh, <laughs> Stop we, Bogart and the Team yeah. Spirit. We asked if they could change it to the Tiki God uh, Super Awesome Trophy. Uh, they said no. Uh, I liked where you're going with that. So, uh, yep. So we are known for getting you drunk and laid. Uh, we give our opponents tiki mugs. We give them lays. We give them custom chestnut dice. We give the captains a wood tiki mask. We laser cut all our uh, lists to give to customers, uh, to, to uh, captains as well. We tend to have libation in the form of zombies, which is a fairly rum drink. We do check IDs because yeah, we want to make it legal. We dress up. We bring. We have been playing for collectively 50 years. We enjoy the game. We we're the guys you want to beat. We're the guys you. Want to lose to. Let me interrupt you real quick. Sure. So we see all kinds of contention here on stream sometimes. Sometimes yep. the games are uh, bulldogs, but you guys were gentlemen. You were friendly. You were laughing. There were some tense oh, times. Yeah. Oh no! But it was a it was a it was a great game to watch as far as camaraderie yep. and team spirit. That's, just like you that's said. what I strive for. And again, at this at this level with Mark and myself, other opponents, I'm a big fan of. Going over terrain before anything happens, making sure it's equal and fair to everyone, there's open transparency. It gets the arguments out of the way yep. so that you actually have the game. You don't got to worry about, well, my opponent is doing this shiftily or not writing this down or doing this, or I don't really know what that is. You get the arguments out of the way, you can actually have a game. And I love the way you talk through your stratagems, you talk through this stuff. Just let me know what's going on is basically all it was. Yep. Jared, I can't say enough. What a pleasure it was to watch you guys play. Awesome. Fantastic game. I'm sure the people at home appreciate it very much. Dave, do you have anything else to add before we uh, it was, cut this man loose for the evening? It was great to meet you, and it was even greater to watch you play. That was awesome. I, I hate that fire raptor even more than ever. <laughs> and uh, we're going to see you again. Thank you, sir. Very nice. Good Jared, talking to outstanding. you. Outstanding. Well done, sir. Well Thank you done. Thank you much, guys. All right, folks. Hold on. We're going to get Mark over here real quick. Mark's Come coming around. in. Coming like a hot room. meteor. Yeah. Boom. Just, Take a seat in there, brother. We got to be nice well, and tight for the screen. Well, well, well. Let's do it. Man. Oh, oh, all right. Did you guys oh, enjoy the show? Fight. What did you say at the beginning of the show? At the beginning of the game, I'm going to punch him in the face. Hmm? And, if, <laughs> and if he survives, 
I'm gonna have a hard time. I'm a hard time. So he initially he survived. He was doing some good work out there, wouldn't you say, Mark? Oh yeah, especially in the early going, he had me on my back foot. Winning that infiltrate roll off really messed up my plan with my death company. Right. I was going to move them up and just wipe out at least three squads of them. Right. Because with all the amounts of attacks that they get, they just obliterate it's, screen. It's ridiculous. It yes. Is, it's not nice. I've gone through blobs of forty cultists. Killed them outright. There's there's no chance of small units with low armor saves right. to even survive. Right, right. So that right. messed me up a little bit. So I tried to play the mind game with him a little bit and not use the stratagem that he was planning for. And so it kind of threw him off a little bit, I think. But then I was able to at least clear out all of his screens. You opened up the door a little bit there. Yeah. So now I can hop in there and take care of business. Right. So, man, uh, Blood Angels captains. It's like Thor himself comes down from Asgard and he is pissed off. Oh yeah. Tell me about this captain. What is this this meteorite of death? He is the best thing in the game right now. I've heard it. He yeah. is only 129 points, get it out the way he is. And he costs one command point to make him death company. Right. And then you give him the relic wings from the Blood Angels to allow him to reroll charge distances. And it gives him no overwatch. Now that, that is one of the keys, right? That was the key, and that's yeah. your plan, right? Oh yeah. Dude, charging Always. a fire raptor with prescience up, uh, I mean, that's a lot of DACA coming in no yes. matter who you are. But if you don't get Overwatch, sorry, Charlie. Yeah. But you could see it happening. I mean, yeah. You had to endure a lot of a lot of abuse. <laughs> you do kind of have red hair. And I don't oh, know yeah. if I'm sweating. I'm sweating. You can see it on the camera. Man, he was beating on you, and you're losing models, and he's shooting like a mad dog. But you could see it. I could see that you were not that you weren't concerned, no. but you're like, I'm where I, it's where I want to be. I know these things. I know what's happening. I know I'm losing models. Mm -hmm. But you knew I'm closing in. and I'll get there. And when he I get there, he wasn't taking out the important ones. Mm. The important ones, like Death Company, are great, but they're a very good unit if you can use them. If they're not, they're a very good distraction. Well, uh, you know, considering the board setup. I think uh, if he had let too many of those guys get in his back line, it would have been a challenge. It would have shifted a lot of the early game. You know, if, if he had the long board, he might have been able to take some of the softer targets out with his longer range shooting, force you to hold some of the objectives a little bit tighter in the backfield, that kind of thing. I mean, he tried it a little bit, right, on your yeah. far objective. He yeah. shot him off one time, but he never got a chance to go after that last guy again yeah. over there. And I was like, oh, that's man. why That's why I put the priest over there, because I knew he couldn't target him, because there's always going to be something closer that's not a character. Right, right, and right. The, the priest, even though he gives plus one strength to all my guys with the six inches, it wasn't going to be needed in this fight. So I sacrificed him to go hold the objective to make sure that I could get those points and at least prevent him from getting the extra for holding more. So that is strategy that is tactics right when you take a viable character that can buff a whole bunch of guys in your army within six inches you say you know what this guy's more important right now is sit in my backfield and not be the closest guy so no one can shoot him wow i i know i can't think like that dave i stopped listening because i didn't understand it <laughs> it was too complicated i did want to say you know they have poker tables here and i don't know if you play poker but you're smiling now but the whole game you, you know, you're just business, it's a game we're playing. You didn't even, how do you feel inside when just the deployment map was was uh, realized? Deployment, it, it was a lot of what I expected. Uh, I've played two other lists that are similar to this. Mm -hmm. uh, differences being that this one was the first fire after I played against in the tournament. Other ones chose to go with the blood letter bombs right. or bigger cultist bombs or, or more obliterators overall. Yes. So Seen that. Ha having the one obliterator made me feel good because those guys can just punch through prime uh, yes. intercessors like nothing. And then they just wreck through secondary guard because they generally have multiple damage. Right. Multiple damage, armor saves get reduced by a lot, so on yeah. and so forth. So that's why when he brought his obliterator in turn one, all the way on the left side of the board, I was like, okay, well, I know you got 24 inch range. Singular Guard are going to be 60 inches away. Right. Don't want to play that guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think he definitely did. So you were smart. You held those guys in reserve for a while. Go ahead and bring your Oblitz in, but know I have this threat. So knowing that, he couldn't put him on that side of the table. He couldn't put him even in the middle of the table. He couldn't let him get charged round one. 
and then all of a sudden that unit's wiped out. It had to stay and do work. So there's all these counter strategies going on the whole time. With holding reserves can be just as important as bringing them in and getting some damage with them. Master strategy, Mark. Master strategy. Thank you. Obviously, you're six and zero. There's a good reason for it. So I've been like doing a, my homework. It's like a chess match. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, this is like a chess match, but and Mark's good at chess. But Mark Obviously. plays chess with a sledgehammer. <laughs> Yeah, this chest this is his chest match, and then when you get over there, sledgehammer. So Man. now let's ask the real question. So tomorrow's a big day. It's been two days of saw gaming, a high pressure game to finish it, right? I'm sure you're excited and exhausted all at the same time. How are you gonna get in the groove to get ready for the big rounds for Sunday <laughs> when it's all on the money? Uh, well what I did last night was I went and uh, drank five beers. Good. Uh, Solid foundation. Like Ten minutes to just <laughs> kill all feelings. That's pretty good. And then just let it ride for a little bit, got in the room, laid down, gone. Like nice. a baby. So, yeah. Like a baby. Get rid of those nerves, relax. I just want to say five beers in ten minutes is pretty impressive. I was thirsty. I was thirsty. I was thirsty. He was a thirsty oh, man. Hey, I could, <laughs> I'm with you. I could, I, I could do that, too. <laughs> Five beers in 10 minutes. Hey, well, go get That's some. an achievement. <laughs> well, let me just say, Mark, you were a gentleman. I loved the way watching you guys play. All Anything that wasn't flat was just re-rolled automatic. There wasn't questions. You weren't watching every roll you made. You you could tell this is a guy you could trust, right? You seemed really honest and upfront right from the beginning. I love the way you guys played. You weren't hovering on top of each other. You weren't saying you're a quarter inch over on your measurement. Yeah. It was a friendly, beautiful game. And I love watching it. I mean, there are there are place a time and a place for your quarter inch off like tomorrow when it's the best <laughs> of the best and it's you know millimeter matters then I you know might be a little bit more but we're still it's a casual game well not I wouldn't say casual obviously but business game. It's, it's a business game you know? that's right but there's always a room in business for good sportsmanship fantastic and as long as both parties are having fun it's a good game to me. it was great watching you guys you're a great sport your opponent lost he's a great sport and different personalities you got to listen to a guy that just is he's got something to say about everything for two and a half hours <laughs> fun to watch you you're a great guy and you got to sit there and it's like i just you're just in your mind doing working, your thing working well you guys look great on tape thank you i just want to say one more time congratulations thank welcome you welcome to tomorrow we'll get to talk again believe it or not i don't know if you guys believe me or not but this is my first lpo <laughs> Well, I believe you because you know what? There's a benefit to that, right? You come in and it's like, I have no fear because I don't know, right? So yeah. there's kind of that calming benefit and look what you've done. You're like, who is that guy? Chris Moneymaker way back from, <laughs> came out of nowhere, won the first uh, World Series of Poker, so. Yeah. My biggest question right now is do I bet red or black because my army's both. Yes. I don't know what to do. Also want to point out he's wearing Blood Angel tennis shoes, by the I way. Am. So he's all in on the Blood Angels. It's fantastic stuff. Mark, thank you for talking with Great us. Great job. Thanks for well you done, guys. sir. Good luck tomorrow. We thank will you see much. you tomorrow. Appreciate it. We'll be watching. We're set up for the top eight, and we're going to be talking to them next. Sounds good. All right, Mark, go ahead and relax, buddy. Thank I'll, you very I'll much. I'll be back in a minute, I guess. Get those five beers down.